I don't even know what that dance was. What was that? <laughs> what did I do again? How is everybody? What is everyone up to? Kez, welcome into the chat. Grim, welcome into the chat. Pyro, welcome into the chat. <laughs> Soft bitches indeed. Pyro wanted me to read that. That is the only reason Pyro waited that long to write that. What are you guys doing? What have you guys been up to? How was this week? The week of hell? I didn't stream yesterday. I was supposed to stream on Twitch, but I fell asleep. So that's the tea. A little dance, a little dance. Right now I'm at work and it's downpouring. Ooh. I don't know. Do you guys like do you guys like rain? I kinda I kinda like reading books in the rain because I have a conservatory. And if you guys don't know what a conservatory is, it's like lots of windows so you, you can see out into your garden. And the rain makes like a lot of noise and it's it's really nice. Um, it was a week of hell. Why? What happened, Pyro? Kevin's posted, thank you. I don't know why I need to know this information. <laughs> Do, did he actually post though? Because I don't get notifications for Kenan's posts then, if he didn't actually post. So I don't have a notification for it. I need to go and turn my notifs on. Yes? How do you know? Oh yeah, you're his editor. I forgot about that. <laughs> ah, my editor is back now. I'm so excited. Did he just post a video now? Kenan's. Jack wrote a comment saying we have things to talk about. Wait, why don't I see it? Okay, I am going to go on Kenneth's channel right now. It doesn't look like he's posted, but he has. He literally just posted. Hold on. Okay, it was on personalized. Whatever that is, YouTube. Whatever personalized is. <gasps> Kenneth! Oh, your rice is looking dope, my dude. Guys, check out. Hold on. Hold on, I don't know how to do this. Wait a minute. Hold up. <laughs> okay, let's do it. I forgot how to be a streamer, guys. <laughs> it's been a week and I forgot how to be a streamer. Look at Kenneth's rice. Mmm. Isn't this what you guys want to see? Epic Kenneth's rice. Mmm. <laughs> I don't know why I did this motion. Uh, Kenneth is probably choking on his rice right now. He's like, what is Susu doing? Uh, nope, nope, move it over here. Yeah, there we go. Before work, I was working on a rough draft on a new horror story. Ooh, what horror story were you working on? I'm not, I'm enjoying the yum rice. Mm. You love the rain? That's good, Grim. Rain is good, my dude. Oh, my hand actually hurts from that motion. 
I'm kind of waiting for Schrodig and Jacko, but I don't know if they're gonna come early. I wanna talk about stuff, but I can't do it without them here, can I? So I'm just gonna be repeating myself, but I, I guess I could repeat myself. How's everyone's week? That's exactly what I asked Pyro. Great minds think alike. My week was pretty good, to be honest. I just got um, a new job. I'm back to working at my mum's cafe. Yay. <laughs> no, okay, okay. So I'm... <laughs> fucking horrible. I love how... We've made Kenna swear so many times now. Kenna's is like a swearer now. <laughs> you know? That's what we've done to Kenna's. No way can I get a coffee? Of course. Only the best. I am the barista, okay? You know, imagine walking into a cafe and it's just me serving you a nice hot coffee. What more could you want? I don't swear in real life though. Mm. Yes. So five minutes ago, well, two minutes ago, when you wrote that in my chat, you weren't swearing in real life. That was just an alternative reality, Kenners. <laughs> no, I get what you mean. I get what you mean, Kenners. Biscuits! Hmm. We actually, we actually, it's pretty sad, but we don't have biscuits. We don't really have biscuits at the cafe. And we don't serve biscuits, which is kind of sad, but that's it. My mama and my dad said coffee keeps me awake from sleeping. It actually does, but I don't, yeah, I don't know how much. Like, it doesn't do anything to me, for example, but then again, chocolate doesn't affect me either. So caffeine just doesn't affect me really. So swear words, eh? Yeah. Swear words. Tut, tut, tut. Top, top. And it, so Ken, why was your week horrible? What happened? No biscuits with a sausage, some bacon and yummy eggs. Yo, guys, guys, so, I didn't tell you guys, but my mom's cafe is a breakfast cafe. So we serve sausages, bacon, eggs, the whole shabam. And we also do a Turkish, we do a Turkish breakfast, which I had today. Oh my God, it was gorgeous. I had it all by myself. Let me, let me show you guys. You guys see this? Mm, it's a. It's a bit... Okay, I'll send it to my drive and then I'll show you guys. Cause that that was a bit dodgy. I don't know what that. That didn't really look great. It's being uploaded. Please tell us she serves hash browns. Of course, of course. And like, what people do is we do like trades. So sometimes people will come in and they'll be like. Oh, I don't want mushrooms. So we'll be like, we got you. You can have a hash brown, you can have a tomato instead, if that's your jam, you can have beans. So like, they mix everything. It's really good. It's so good. Yay, yay, yay, yay, yay, yay, Yummy fried hash brown. Yes, yes. Fun fact though, I have never had a hash brown. Can you guys believe it? Can you guys believe this? I've never had a hash brown. I know it's potato and I love potato, so I'm gonna love it, but I've never had one. I don't know why. I need to I need to go to my mum's and have a hash brown. That's how it is. Um hold on. I'm gonna show you guys my breakfast. So a Turkish breakfast is a little bit different to an English breakfast. but it's, it's still, still pretty damn dope. This is what it looks like. Let me just move myself. Let me move myself in the corner for a second. 
but yeah this is what it looks like guys and you see you see this thing here mm. can you guys see my cursor oh yes you can see this thing here you cried at the top of the rainbow tower <laughs> no no kenners it's just the clickbaity title okay no actually it's not i I actually did cry at the top of the Eiffel Tower. I was 13 or something. No, I was 11. I was 11. And I'm scared of heights. And my parents thought it was funny to test out if I was going for a phase. So they took me to the Eiffel Tower and I'm just there crying because I hate heights. So yes, it, it, it, it did actually kind of happen. What? Joke. It's legit, your mum has a cafe. Yes, I mean, I'm not lying. I'm not lying, guys. <laughs> Why would I lie about this? There's no reason to. So this right here is like phyllo pastry. So dough, fried dough, okay? With like cheese inside. This is halloumi. This is Turkish meat, which is kind of a little bit spicy. It's really good. I'm here. Thank the heavens, Jack. Thank the heavens. Welcome in. How are you, Jack? These are eggs. I'm talking. Okay, just to update you, Jack. It's a flat croissant. Don't you dare, Kenners. Kenners. Kenners. Did you just call it a flat croissant? <laughs> First of all, it's nothing like a croissant, okay? Schrodinger would go mental on you, Kenners, <laughs> if he was here. <laughs> I am great, we have some good news. Croissant! Croissant! <laughs> oh, yes, guys. Okay, okay, Jack, we are excited for your good news. Tell us your good news. So yeah, Jack, I'm just saying that I started working at my mom's cafe and this is what I had for breakfast there. It's really good. And I had a hot chocolate and I, I made this myself, okay? And I put a load of cream on it because I really like the cream. The cream is really sweet and I love it. And guys, I don't even eat bread. That's lush, yeah. I don't even eat bread, but I ate like all of that, only two pieces were left. I was surprised, okay? I was really hungry though. And these are grapes. Some girl, <laughs> some girl in the cafe, she was really young, bless her. She just came up to me for some reason and she was like, what are those? And then she said something. I don't actually remember what she thought they were. She thought they were something else. And she made me laugh. I laughed a lot. <laughs> but then I was like, no, it's a grape. <laughs> so, okay, okay. So basically, you know the girl I've been speaking about? She asked me to go for a walk with her tomorrow. So that's good news. That is epic news, Jack. <laughs> I'm very excited for you. I hope that goes well. What are you gonna to talk to her about? Are you ready? Cream. Kenners. I don't know what context you said that in. Stop, you guys, both of you, Pyro. <laughs> you sussy boys. Uh, I hope so too, any tips? I'm not prepared, lol. Um, if your hands get sweaty, don't hold her hand. Um, Oh, uh, you should, you should put your arm around her. You should definitely put your arm around her. Like, I don't know if she's shorter than you or whatever, but like, if she's like, if you're like the same height, you should put your arm around her waist, like kind of like here. But like, if she's like the same, uh, if she's not the same height as you, if she's shorter than you, you should put around like her shoulder. You guys should walk like this. Don't flirt with her. 
Dude, he literally likes her. What do you mean don't flirt with her? How is that a good tip? <laughs> what? What? <laughs> Just be cool, Jack. Just be yourself. I don't think I'm going to be doing that, but why? Like, holding a hand is good. It's nice. Is it weird? Is it weird to hold hands? I don't know. If she likes you and you hold her hand, she is going to go insane. Okay, that didn't come out right. She's gonna be <laughs> she's gonna be sane, but like she's gonna be very happy that you held her hand. Cause I don't think we're there yet. Oh yeah. Yeah, okay. If you're not there yet. Also, like I noticed oh sorry, guys. I literally noticed like dirt on the floor. <laughs> Look at that. Guys, do you guys know what? You guys want to know something? Sorry, I'm switching the subject. I'm going to come right back. At my mom's cafe today, we had so many customers. We had mud everywhere. I don't know if it was like the builders or whatever because they came in for breakfast. We had mud everywhere, dried mud. I had to clean that shit up and it was just literally like everywhere, everywhere. And I was just like, oh, <laughs> I don't know why I made that sound. Okay, ignore that. But yeah, okay. I don't know if she likes me. Hmm. Um, yes. I mean, she asked you to go out on a walk, so feel like she likes you. I don't know. It's a bit rando, you know, to just ask someone out on a walk, but I've never liked anyone. Pyro! I think that's okay, Pyro. I don't think I liked anyone at 13 either. <laughs> so, it's so good. Although I don't actually know how old you are, but I'm gonna bust out the cologne, the nice outfit, the DJ Cali sneakers! Look at the shoes. Get the shoes. Get the shoes. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Imagine you did like a DJ Kali meme with her. <laughs> you get her to record your sneakers. Oh my god. Pyro, I want to show you something. Wow. Kenneth wants to just show you his love, Pyro. <laughs> yeah, but she could be one of those girls that just wants a male best friend. Yeah. She could be. Girls are tricky, man. I don't know what to say to you. Girls are tricky. I, yeah, I mean, like, we could try and figure out if she likes you or not, but, like, we could all be wrong. Literally, me and chat could completely be wrong. I just come in, say hello, and then go look at the walk, look at the sneakers, back up, back up. <laughs> oh god, Jack, you have to do a proper stroll, okay? You have to come in with attitude. We want passion, we want footwork, okay? We're just gonna walk, walk, fashion baby. You know, like Lady Gaga says, that's, that's what you gotta do, Jack. That's what you gotta do. But anyway, guys, good news. I've got a job. So, because I have a job, I can now buy new games. <laughs> I'm, only, I'm only working part-time at my mom's. Um, and basically, I don't wanna be broke anymore. So I, and I was gonna go get a day job, but then I was like, Instead of getting a day job, I might as well just go and work at my mum's cafe. Congratulations! Thank you, Kenneth! Mwah. Thank you. Yay! You have a job! Yes! Thank you, Jack. Yes, it's true. Yeah, I mean, I can buy games now, so if you guys want to play, like, new games, we can do that. I swear, guys, it's... Like, do we go a stream without there being a fly in my room? You guys are gonna think, like, my room is disgusting or something we literally don't go one stream without there being a fly in my room 
Let me see. What what game are you going to suggest, Kenners? Roblox. I think Roblox is free. Is Roblox for free? Let's see what game I want you to play. Kenners, anything but Little Nightmares, please. Please. I'm praying. I'm praying, Kenners. <laughs> I'm praying. I think even Kenners is over Little Nightmares. Roblox is free. Yes. I don't know why I've done this to myself. Valiant of Hearts. Kenners, don't destroy Schrodinger like that. You are such a naughty boy, Kenners. <laughs> this was ready to go like that. You roasted him so hard. Leave him alone. He just. He just. Leaves. What? Wait, are you serious? You know, Schrodinger has asked me to play that war game. Saying that destroys him. Well, yeah, because it's kind of like. He suggested that game, and the game's okay, the game's fine, but like, you know, I don't know what intentions with you're saying. <laughs> you know exactly what I mean, Kenners, don't pretend. <laughs> All right, guys, are you guys ready for this game? Today, we are going to play a chill ass game okay it's very very chill very very like it's it's it's a coffee game okay it was inspired by me working at my mom's i was like okay today we are going to play a coffee game barista oh wait Oh, this music. This is God. Let's lock that. Barista Susu. We could have Susu Licious, but I think Barista Susu makes more sense. Name yourself Survivor Susu. Kedders! I'm not called that anymore! I can't add the U, it doesn't have enough space. Hold on. <laughs> Survivor Susu or Survivor Sus? Which one, Kenners? Pick it. Come on. <laughs> oh god. Survivor Sussy. By the way, I hit 100 subs. Congratulations, Kenners. That's epic. And you have like 10K plus views on that video. Survivor Sussy is Survivor Sussy. Yes, Survivor Sussy is correct. <laughs> Name yourself Susu the first. Hmm. Yes, anyone else that came before me, we just... We just eliminate them, we just kill them off. Then they don't exist, guys. Then we win, you know? You guys ready? This is a pretty chill game. So we can chat a lot. Oh God, that music change scared me. Seattle, 2020. We're in the past, guys. Do you guys remember 2020 during COVID? Oh my God, I think it was the end of COVID, right? Wait, am I allowed to say Rona? Maybe I shouldn't have said that. I don't know. Sussy. Sussy Seattle. A city filled with dreams and madness. A time when great war- Oh God, not back to the war again. I cried so much during 2020. Why? Jack, why did you cry? 
I don't think I really cried. I was kind of sad because like I couldn't see anyone. I literally couldn't see any of my friends. All my friends were in London and like everyone went home. So none of my friends were in London anymore. They'd all gone like to different places to their houses. And like no one lives where I live, so I was by myself. I learned about war in school. Oh, <laughs> what did you learn, Kenneth? <laughs> what did you find out? Oh, guys, look, look at like, look at like the, look at the pink cloud in the game, and then look at my background. It kind of looks like a pink cloud. Kind of, it's kind of matching, kind of vibing, you know. Because of online school, ugh. Ugh, ugh. I actually had online uni. Guys, in 2020, I was at uni. Wow. Or I think actually I'd quit. I don't know, one of the two. You're back in 2020, no, I don't wanna go back, Kenna's. I'm really happy with my life right now. There is no way I'm going back. <laughs> I really like where we're, where I am right now. My GCSEs are going well, yes! That's the way it should be, Jack. All right, you guys, pretty. The great war between races is but a footnote in history. Guys, we're back to racism. Racism 101. A time when anyone can dream of being whatever they want to be and have those dreams crushed before they can even be discussed. Oh my goodness. But still, it is a place and time where anything can happen. My, my only concern with this game is I'm gonna have to read everything to you guys. It is when the elves have left the forest to build their startups. <laughs> this turned into business like really quick. <laughs> Look at the freaking elves, man. Yo, that blue elf, she's kind of looking really pretty. Kind of like her. I'm gonna leave the stream for now. No worries, Pyro. We'll see you. Goofy! A zombies! <laughs> They're not zombies, Kenners. They're elves. When the dwarves have emerged from their caves to start their automotive empires. Oh god, guys, what is this? When the orcs have put down their axes and started using computers to improve their lives. And when humans live among them, as driven as ever. It is a city that holds the many dreams and stories of its people. Do do do do do. Do do do do do. Okay, the, the game gets better than this. This is just like the start. Most of these stories are left untold. But some few find solace in the embrace of bricks and wood and glass. I think it's solace? I think I pronounced that wrong, but oh well. They are told over drinks, then take up residence in some stranger's memories. That's so cute. Guys, could you imagine you guys came to the cafe and I gave you guys drinks and you guys told me like your stories, like about your day and we just chatted and we made memories like this, you know? This is a cafe game? Yeah, yeah. In one corner of the city stands a coffee shop. A place that is only open when the sun is sleeping. So the cool thing about this coffee shop is that it's only open at night, which is pretty cool. A place where people share their stories. And these are their stories. Hey, yo, did you guys know in Japan, you can have like coffee stores and stuff open at midnight? Goofy zombies, Kenny, why are you spanning? Kenna's, not Kenny. Where's Kenny come from? I bet there's gonna be a cool elf called Jack. Ayo, you know it, Jack. You know it. Let's see what happens. Kenna's, why are you spamming? Tuesday, September 22nd, 2020. Did you guys see the little loading? My name is Sussy <laughs> Survivor Sussy. What the frick is this name? <laughs> Welcome. Oh, it's you. 
Okay, <laughs> survivor sussy. <laughs> How's the night so far? It's calm as usual. We've got a slight problem though. Huh? What happened? My supplier made some logistical errors. I don't have half of my ingredients today. Wow. This is such a shit start to the cafe. Man, that's a bummer. Don't worry. I can still serve the caffeine you desperately need. That's good to hear. Anyway, let me set things up first. You're our first customer after all. This girl is always here. Like, this this green haired girl has nothing better to do. She's called like Freya. Yeah, and she has nothing better to do but come to this cafe. Don't worry, take your time. I'm a writer, not an editor. So I'm used to taking things slow. What is that, Kenneth? I bet there is gonna be a super Asian, brave, buff, cool looking Vietnamese, Chinese, Korean, North Korean, strong elf named Ken. Yeah, I mean, there's gonna be a cool elf called Jack and there's gonna be a really cool elf called Ken. And they're gonna be like besties. And then there's gonna be a very, very sussy barista called Survivor Sussy, okay? She forced me to get Insta so I could see her posts. Is that good? Yes, that's good. But why have you not added me on Instagram? This is not allowed, Jack. Now that I know you have Instagram, you have to add me. I mean, you don't have to, but you should. It's still susulicious, but it's like with a lot of S's. In fact, you should put the right amount of S's because I'm really worried about the accounts you're gonna see if you don't put the right amount of S's. Time goes fast, man. Yes, it does, Kenny. Well, look, Kenners, we're in 2023. Guys, guys, we're actually in 2023. Hold on, can we think about this for a moment? That's insane. This game is like three years old, I think. You got that right. What are you writing now? Okay, so Freya is a writer. Do you remember my plan to... Ooh. It's ready. It's ready. I got it yesterday and it's not you, but I'm not comfortable giving out my insert because I thought post things about my personal life on there. Yeah, that's fair, Jack. But, um... Do you not have like an alt? Like one where you don't post anything about your personal life. Cause damn, I have an alt. Well, I had I had a personal Instagram and then I deleted it because I just felt like it was useless. But now I kind of regret it cause I, I can't post things. I would have posted on that account on this account because this one's like my public account you know so like this one is like a very public instagram it's just my survivor susu uh, susulicious look what you've done to me kenners now i'm saying survivor susu as if that's my name again um yeah it's just a susulicious account Pardon the interruption, the machine is ready. Do you want your triple shot espresso now? Yes, please. And if you forget how to make it, just check your phone, okay? Anyway, I really need that triple shot espresso. Yo, I know how to do this, okay? Just a coffee. Wait a minute, how do we do espresso, guys? Nope, no alt. Come on, how do we do espresso, guys? I'm gonna leave the stream to... No! We will miss you, Kenners. See you later. Have fun in Roblox. You got TT. What's TT? Is that Twitter? Won't post on there. I don't know what TT is. TikTok. Oh, yeah, I do, but I'm I am never on TikTok. 
Like, my TikTok account literally just exists, you know? But it's just, it's not there, really. Oh no, is it on top chat again? Just go to live chat. Oh yeah, there we go. I don't know why I went to top chat. TikTok. Tick -a talk. Yeah. Wait, Jack, why is your messages being deleted? Is that just me being delusional? Or did you delete them on purpose? I don't know what's going on right now. Triple shot espresso is just coffee, coffee, coffee, right? Oi, Love Calvary is here. What is Love Calvary? Bro, you're not Tracer. Oh god, I don't even know. I don't even know what these what these comments are. I feel bad. This is a this is a joke I don't know. I feel it. One cup of triple shot espresso. Special for my only customer tonight. Mmm, that aroma. Ah, exactly what I need. Bro, you're not asparagus. What? What? Brad, welcome into the chat, by the way. I de identify as asparagus soil. <laughs> no, you don't, Jack. It's supposed to be asparagus edits. Get it right, please. <laughs> Your plan to do something? Yes, that. It's not that I hate writing stories for the newspaper, you know, but it seems like the right time for something bigger. So, a novel? Yes. It sounded so simple when I was making the plan. At least you still have your job. Oh, my mom just texted me, hold on. She's saying she's picking me at eight tomorrow. Oh. That's great. I get extra hours of sleep, guys. Can you guys imagine? Yeah, because on Sundays we kind of open like um, later. Guys, I actually have to wake up at like 6 a.m. It's actually crazy. Tell your mom I said hi. <laughs> it's going to be so weird because she doesn't know who you are, bruh. <laughs> Like, honestly, she knows, like, nothing about, like, my online slash streaming life, pretty much. I mean, she knows I stream, but, like, I think she came on my stream, like, one time, and I told her off for coming on my stream with my email. So she had to get her own Gmail, and then, since then, she hasn't been back to my streams. It's gonna be good though, because at the moment, guys, the cafe's hours are literally like seven till six, which is really long. I mean, I only do, I only do seven till four, so I'm okay. But it's just super long hours in general. So it's gonna, the times are gonna be changed to like, um, was it eight? Was it nine? I think it's gonna be nine till five or nine till four or something, which I think is better. Cause to be honest, like we only really get like a like massive load of customers after nine. So I think it's better if we do that. We do get like some customers before nine, but I just don't know if it's worth being open that early, to be honest with you, to, just have it running at that time. Nine to five is the standard. Yeah, pretty much. What's up, bitches? I'm back. Welcome back, Pyro. <laughs> that's pretty funny, Pyro, because that's actually what I say to my friends. I say, what's up, bitches? 
how's your weekend been? It's been great so far, Jack, honestly. I've been working since Thursday. Um, yesterday, I fell asleep, guys. I'm so sorry I didn't stream. I just fell asleep on the couch. Honestly, I went on the couch and my crisps. I had like this massive pack of cereal. Oh my God, it was beautiful. And then, yeah, and then I just fell asleep. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> but yeah. So Jack, when are you going on the walk with this girl? <laughs> Cause that's really exciting. Oh, Brad, by the way, our boy Jack, our boy Jack is growing up. He's going to, he's going on a walk with the girl. 2 p.m. tomorrow, Ooh. Let's hope it's nice and warm so you guys like have a decent type of weather. Lately, the weather has been cold, but that's, that's great. That's snuggle weather right there. I made overnight oats earlier. Yes, yes, Jack. I love eating like snacks at night. It's my favorite thing. <laughs> At least you still have your job in case things go awry. Hee hee. Ha ha ha. <laughs> this is how I feel like the girl would laugh, by the way. Ha ha ha. Good for you. Don't fumble. Oh, Brad, don't say that. Look, Jack, if you fumble, it's, it's fine. It's fine if you fumble. Just ask for... Oh, Jack, you should do a follow-up date. You should definitely do like a follow-up date. You should definitely be like, this was a nice walk. Should we go to a coffee shop? Or I don't know, like, like a cafe. It was like something, like just take her out somewhere after. Like do a follow-up date. So even if this date goes bad, you, she, can, she can go on the other date and you can fix it. <laughs> but hopefully it's going to go swell. Don't, don't. Don't go into it thinking it's gonna go bad. I have a cafe near me. Yeah, that sounds great. It's gonna be cold, but that's good. And walks in the rain ain't bad. Yeah, I think they're pretty romantic. Make sure you have an umbrella and hold the umbrella for her. That's really cute. And there's dogs in there. <gasps> it's a dog cafe. <gasps> oh my God, guys, there was a doggo at the cafe today. Obviously the doggos can't come inside. So they just sat outside, but it's so cute, the little doggo. He barked at every dog he saw. And then I came out to give him little strokies and he did not bark at me. And I was like, why is he not barking? And they were like, he only barks at doggos. He doesn't bark at humans. So cute. I'm not offering any relationship advice currently. Brad has been, Brad Stacks has been burnt by love. He's not in the mood for relationship advice. Yeah, a dog cafe, yeah. Not something I want to think about. I know, Braddy, and I'm sorry, and I, I hope you heal, okay? I'm sorry you're going through something rough, buddy. That's okay, Brad. Let me sub to you on my alt. Thank you so much, Pryro, I appreciate you. That is so sweet. Oh, thank you. That's okay, Brad, yeah. We've all been burnt by love, guys. Well, not really, but <laughs> some of us have. Pyro says he's never experienced any attraction to anyone. So that's going to be exciting when Pyro is in a relationship and experiences something. Is Pyro the one deleting his messages? Or is his messages getting deleted by YouTube? I don't know what's going on. Uh, did I say something wrong? No, you were right. You said something I should have thought about myself. What are you talking about? You know who owns the Evening Whispers? I really like that name, Evening Whispers. That's a pretty cool name. GRA Media, right? Yes. They are also the biggest book publisher in the country. So when an opportunity presented itself, I took it. What do you mean by opportunity? Well, I bumped into one of the big guys in the elevator. So naturally I pitched my book idea. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Come on, don't look at me like that. 
This is, this is what I would look like at Freya. You really think that was a good idea? Are you for real? Yeah, yeah, I know. It was such a stupid thing to do. So how did they react? Thankfully, he'd seen my short stories, so he challenged me. If I can get a draft ready in a month, he'll pull some strings and get the fiction publishing division to sign me up for a publishing deal. That sounds great. What about your job at the Evening Whispers? Do you have time to do both? I don't really get it. So she works at the Evening Whispers and then she pitched her book idea to someone at the Evening Whispers, like a CEO. That's the hard part. I've been secretly working on the novel during office hours. What? Uh oh. And I'm falling behind on the newspaper's deadlines. If the sh chef finds out, she'll probably kick me out. Uh oh. Well, at least you've got a month to finish the initial draft. That was last week. Oh my god, this girl. <laughs> this girl sucks! What is she gonna do? Again, don't look at me like that. How far along are you? Uh, <laughs> I assume the number of words you have written is not too far from zero. Hey, that's rude. No, it's not. I've written some stuff, you know. May I see it? Um, well, it was so bad that, well, after reading it, I decided to just delete everything immediately. Mm. So, zero? <sighs> yes. I really need to finish it in at least two weeks. Then I'll use the extra week to polish and do some editing. Sounds like a plan. If you can pull it off. I know, I know. You don't need to be so cynical about it. That's why I'm here today. I'm hoping to find some inspiration. I wrote some of my best short stories here, you know. Really? Glad this place could be of service. Oh, it looks like someone's coming. This is exciting. Who are we going to meet now? Ooh, I like this lady. She's smoking, guys. Don't smoke, okay? Oh, wait. We're blocking her. We're kind of blocking her. Hold on. I'm go- Oh! I'm gonna put myself on the chair. Yes. I am now sitting at the cafe! <laughs> Hi, guys. This is Sissilicious. I'm going to- talk about my life at the cafe now so basically you know your girl is trying to get a job I decided to work at my mum's cafe during the day and you know I also stream and I'm trying really hard to get my streaming going and stuff like that so yeah so yeah mm. Does it look like I'm looking at them when I look sideways? I can't tell because I can't see from here. Okay. Hello. Good evening. For here, miss? Yes, please. I'm not really sure what to order, though. What do you recommend? That depends highly on your mood. It's just... I'm just here to meet my boyfriend. Not planning to be awake all night. So, definitely no coffee. How about something chocolatey? It's perfect for this weather. Oh, guys, do you guys like a hot chocolate in this weather? Why does the goddess of fertility have green hair? <laughs> what do you mean the goddess of fertility? Does she look like a game character or something? Ooh, the music changed. The music in this game is so good, guys. I love this like lo-fi type of music. It's like my favorite. I cannot study with this music though. I don't know how other people study. I'm guessing like artists can. That's what Freya is. And that's the tea, Brad. She's the goddess of fertility. Is that why her name is Freya?
is she the actual god? I don't think so, but I don't know. I think she's just like a mere human in this game. I think this, uh, this woman is an orc. <laughs> I love how I'm just sitting in between them both. Made you guys believe the stream froze, didn't I? Didn't I? Yes, I did. <laughs> That's a good idea, actually. Thank you. You're welcome. Anything with chocolate in, please. Okay, so what should we give them? Like, cocoa powder. I mean, chocolate shouldn't have been the base. Primary is milk, and then... Do we have sugar and stuff? Where can we get, like, sugar? Some more chocolate, I don't know. Milk chocolate! Yes! Oh, should we do latte art? Let's do latte art, guys. Ooh! Oh, this is milk? guys can't see the latte art, hold on. <laughs> this is the latte art, guys. Oh, show off your vocal acting range. Okay, I will- I will do some different- different voices, okay? I'm gonna turn this into Mr. Snowman. Oh god. Oh god, it's ruined. Guys, that- that is not look good. Frosty the snowman. Now we add a little smile here. Okay, this is this is horrendous. <laughs> Beautiful. Stop, Brad. Don't don't encourage it. What is etching? Do we just pour milk everywhere? And then what's what's etching? Oh, ooh, we can make it like swervy, whatever that is. Yes. Ooh. What is invert? Ooh. This is pretty, right? How are we normally supposed to do latte art, by the way? I'm not a very latte art, but that looks a little sus. Perfect. She's going to get sussy coffee. Well, hot chocolate. One cup of chocolatey goodness. Thank you. So warm. Mmm. Oh wait. Okay, if I if I do her voice. Okay, hold on. Let me let me move where I am. If I do her voice, I feel like she would have a soft voice. Okay, she looks like a soft and like kind of like this. I kind of feel like yes, he should be here soon. But a little bit more, a little bit more cricket. And I feel like Freya. I feel like Freya is very out there, bold. She's outspoken. She's right up. Look at you now. You know, she's kind of like that. You went from empty to free customers in one night. She's a bit American, but I can't really do American. I hope it's the cream she wanted. Brad, it was so bad. I thought this place would be more crowded. Considering it's the only coffee shop that's still open after midnight around here. Because it's the only coffee shop that still opens past midnight, it's mostly empty. Now that you mention it, is it good for business having the coffee shop only open at night? Definitely not. Yep, what she said. Then why? I just love doing it. Bro, I would love to have a coffee shop open at night, but I... The people that come to my mom's coffee shop, some of them are really questionable. 
I wouldn't want like weirdos coming to my coffee shop, but I feel like if your coffee shop is open at like 4, 5 a.m., that's what you're gonna get. You're literally gonna get weirdos coming into your coffee shop. So, I don't know. You know what type of people I would want at my coffee shop at like 4, 5 a.m.? I want like, you know, gamers or like people that can't sleep to come into the coffee shop, like youngsters and hipsters and like, people in their mid-twenties and all that range, you know? But yeah, I might just get drunk people at the coffee shop, drunkards. And there's always someone longing for a warm drink at this hour. That's fascinating. Pardon me for asking. But how can you survive running the coffee shop like this? That's the secret. Survivor, <laughs> Survivor Sussy here is damn rich, and that's the secret. <laughs> I was thinking of something to say to enter the chat in style, but I can't think of anything, so I'll just say, cheese, shredding now. Welcome into the chat, and cheese is a fantastic way to enter the chat. Cheese, yes. Welcome into the chat, Schrodinger. How have you been this week? What have you been up to? Jack was in here a little while ago telling us about his gal. If he comes back, hopefully he can tell you the updates. Pretty decent, nothing special. Aw, Schrodig. How was school? Are you bored of it? Do you want school to end already? <laughs> I know you just started, but yeah. Oh, by the way, Schrodig, I, I have a new job now. I work at uh, at my mom's cafe. My mom owns a, sh a coffee shop, basically. And I just had a beautiful breakfast there. <gasps> Schrodinger, I have to show you the breakfast, okay. And Brad, Brad hasn't seen the breakfast. Braddy. How cheesy, Shiro. <laughs> she asked me to go on a walk with her. Yes. Jack is feeling the anxiety now, aren't you, Jack? Jack's like, uh oh, I shared this with these bros and... Jack, you should ask Shro for advice. Because Shro is chatting up his girl. Shro has the video calls going. He has the texts going. I was lurking for a while before I said anything. How rude, Brad. How rude. How typical of you, Batman. Or should I say, Bradman. Always in the shadows. Yeah, I'm afraid. Don't be scared, Jack! Jack! Hey, yo, hey, yo, it's gonna be great. It's gonna be fucking fantastic, okay? You got this, buddy. You got this. Hey, and if you, if you feel, like, anxious and you feel scared, just think of DJ Cali, okay? Think of his quote, They didn't believe in us, but God did, okay? <laughs> Wait, really, Susu? You work at your mom's cafe? Or is it a joke because of the game? No, no, no, I'm, I'm over joking. I'm not joking this time. Um, yeah, I actually work at my mom's cafe. So this right here, if I move myself, this is what I had this morning, basically. This is um, a traditional Turkish breakfast. So we like having little things. So this is filo pastry. Or as Kenner's said, this is a flat croissant, apparently. And I said to him, Schrodinger will kill you. That is not a croissant. Although, Schrodinger, you're Italian. You're not really French. But yeah, I feel like you should... I don't know if you guys heard that, but that was a very loud honk at like 7.40 for me, honestly. The cheese level is over 9,000. Yeah, but that's online. Dude, come on, they video call. He- no, it's not- it's not just online. 
Schrodinger was next to the girl. He, like, was in the hotel or something next to her. That's how he met her. So they met in person and then they moved it online. You know, stage two. And now they're in a long distance relationship. Wait, Schrodinger, are you and the girl actually dating? If you don't mind me asking, obviously. If you, if you don't want to share, that's fine. I'm Bradman. Yes, you are. I'll do it for Callie. <laughs> they didn't believe in us. God did. And and you know, Jack, if you if you really feel super super bad, you can just point at your shoes and go, look at the shoes. Easy way to save you. Jack, the thing is, when you're anxious though, you run out of like things to talk about, you know. Guys, looking at this hot chocolate really makes me want the hot chocolate, man. I really want the hot chocolate. Hi, hi, hey! Hey, um, Andrew, welcome into the chat. How are you? All this food? I know, Andrew. This is a traditional Turkish breakfast. I was telling everyone in chat, I don't know if you heard or not, but this is at my mum's cafe. And I had a Turkish breakfast today and I was just showing the guys what I had. But yeah, this food is making me want to eat it, seriously. Like, but pretty seriously, guys. Hot chocolate would slap right now. <laughs> I don't know why I did that. <laughs> oh. Well, Brad, if you come to my mum's cafe, I can make you one. Handmade by me. You know, I'm the barista now. If I ate that every day, I would love going to school. Mmm. Me and you both. I enjoyed all of it. My mum said to me, my mum was literally like, Sue. She was like, that's a lot of food. She was like, can you eat that? Guys, I didn't take a picture of like afterwards, but this was all gone. All of this was just gone. I just nom nom nom nom nom. Um, Andrew, how are you today? Also, do you want me calling you Andrew? Do you want me to call you Need to Watch? I, I don't know. I don't know if Andrew is a bit weird for you. I'm happy calling you Need to Watch. It's your choice. She making that money. She making that shmoney. Yeah, I'm on stage two. I'm preparing for stage five. <laughs> What's that? Marriage? What the frick is that? Hold on, hold on. Okay. Look, I haven't been young in a while. What is stage two? What is stage five? Because honestly, to me, there's only two stages, which is you're not dating and you are dating. That's it for me. That, that's how the oldies do it, guys. <laughs> there's only two stages. When there is the boss fight... What the frick is the boss fight? I, this doesn't sound like a relationship anymore, Schrodinger. This is very weird. Wait, Schro, name stage one, two, three, four, five. I'll say what I'm on. Exactly, Jack. Exactly. I was joking, Jack. I don't have actual levels. Bro, I was so excited for your stages. I am disappointed, Schrodinger. Now you need to make some up. So we are entertained. That's just how it is. You know, you said it. Make it up. He's too young for the boss fight. Brad, I don't... <laughs> He's not talking about that, Brad. He's not talking about that. Need to watch. Don't make sense. Andrew's fine. Okay, well... <laughs> I just thought about it. I keep saying, need to watch. How are you today? Need to watch. How's it going? Need to watch. How was your week? <laughs> it, it, it is a bit, uh, it is a bit dojo. <laughs> but yeah, welcome into the chat and uh, thanks for coming in. We are just playing this game that has decided to not record anymore. So seriously? Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Okay, it is recording. Yeah, and I just, I'm just gonna pop myself back here. I'm in between these guys, guys. I'm in the cafe. 
in the cafe. I'm drinking. Look, I even have my mug, okay? I am prepared. You got an appetite, girl. Guys, working at the cafe is so exhausting. Like, I burn so many calories. I lose weight when I work at the cafe. Do you know? Same, I was thrilled to hear about the stages. Schrodinger, where have you gone? Come back and bring us the stages, bro. Bring us the stages, my dude. We're waiting. We're waiting for these stages. <laughs> but Andrew, how has your week been? How are you? today how's your day been so far yes yes Frodo. yes yes okay so level one is meeting i guess okay i think jack has that one level two is regularly talking or something i think jack has that one too he said he had that one level three is going on dates okay level four is becoming a couple and level five is marriage? I don't know. Well, I mean, you said you were preparing for level five, so that's scary. I don't know if you should go straight from like marriage, <laughs> dating to marriage. I'm level two, okay. So Schrodinger, are you level three? But you guys are long distance, so I don't know if you guys can go on dates. So is it the same thing? pretty good feel more relaxed now that the youtube video is out but we got a tropical storm hitting us no way dude a storm and also i haven't seen your video yet but i will check it out <laughs> i saw you advertise it today i think on instagram or was that yesterday honestly yesterday after the cafe I came home and I fell asleep on my couch. I was supposed to stream, but I fell asleep. I was so freaking tired. But yeah, I'm just happy I got a job, you know, because having a job and that security just feels really good. What's up, the bitches? What's up, Pyro? Welcome back. Mm, pretty good, feel more relaxed. Uh, but yeah, wait, so Tropical Storm. Tropical Storm, oh, also. Andrew, I wanted to say congrats, by the way. You, your videos have been doing so well. I think you made a very, very smart business decision. And I am proud of you, I want to say. I know it was a tough decision, because I know, and well, I don't know, but I'm assuming in your heart, you, you probably still want to do streaming and you probably do want to be a game gamer or a streamer. I, I don't know, I mean, do you? But I'm just assuming here, but anyway, congrats, dude. I think it was a very smart business decision and, and I'm proud of you because I know it takes so much to make it. And the fact that you have the balls to do whatever it takes to make it, I'm proud of you, okay? I just wanted you to know because not a lot of people will say it, but I wanted you to know. <laughs> Congrats, thank you so much. Yeah, I'm, I'm really happy I have a job, man. This coffee scene is so cool. Honestly, it's pretty cool. Nah, Susie, I was joking, I'm level three. Oh, you, you're on level three? You guys are going on dates? Schrodinger. <laughs> Congrats, Schrodinger, I'm happy for you. We don't regularly go on dates because of the distance, but she goes near my city for a doctor appointment or something every month. So we meet in real life once a month! <gasps> Schrodinger! That is so cute! That is so cute! I'm so happy for you, buddy! I don't know, I don't know why I punched the screen, but you know, that was like a happy fist bump, okay? I'm weird. <laughs> Just putting it out there. Mm. I'm thinking of streaming next week, but more of just chatting. I will be there. I will be there. Guys, you definitely should check out Need to Watch, by the way. He's an awesome streamer. He's very chill, very funny. I feel like he's been underappreciated for a long time, and I will love to see him shine, honestly. So go check him out. Go give Need to Watch a follow on Twitch and on YouTube, because he's great. Always a gamer. Thanks, Susie. You're welcome. Anytime. Who needs to... Who needs... Who's... 
<laughs> Wait a minute, Jack, what? Who's Need to Watch, by the way? Need to Watch is Andrew. He's a friend of mine through Jordan. You guys don't know Jordan, but Jordan used to stream and he's one of the first people I met actually on the streaming platform after Joker. I met Joker because I was playing DVD and Joker and me played DVD in a match and these guys were epic. Joker was in a group called Late Tape. Whole journey, okay? I'm giving you guys the full backstory. Imagine we're at a coffee shop and this is what we're talking about. So Joker and um, me met through Late Tape. We played a game together and then the Late Tape crew wanted me to join them on their stream. So I joined them. And then I started streaming. And then I met Jordan whilst streaming. Um, I think he was my killer or something. I don't really remember exactly how I met Jordan, but I met Jordan. And then I met Brad through Jordan, which is great. And then the rest is history, really. Jordan is good friends with Andrew and knows him in real life kind of thing. And then I met Andrew through Jordan. Just like that. We all played DBD for some point basically and that's how we all met. Ah, that's me, aka thanks for dying. Yeah, um, need to watch his thanks for dying. How do you go on dates online, pop on Roblox and have a dinner date? Jack, don't be rude, okay? Hey, playing games together is the best way to date, okay? I would do that all the time with my ex. All the time. It's so much fun. Playing games with people you're dating, it's great. <laughs> Hi, Asparagus Edits. Hello, need to watch. Uh, you took kind, Susan. No, uh, no, I'm genuine. I'm genuine. I'm not being kind. I'm just being genuine. Posted new edits and memes. Do it, Jack! Oh, but I wanted to talk to you, Jack, about your tags, which is why I actually wanted to add you on Instagram. Because... I've, but now that we're streaming, we can talk about it here as well, if you're comfortable with talking about your YouTube tags. Because I, I want to get your your YouTube going, buddy. I, I want to boost your views. I think you should do some different tags. But I didn't check if you did tags or not. And check your videos, but... I know you do some hashtags, but that's not the same thing. I'm not talking about the same thing. Susu helped me with the DBD views. Did I? Did I? I don't know. Did I actually? Did I like raid you and stuff? I don't really remember, but... I just remember coming onto your chat, dude. It was a lot of fun. Like, you're a really good streamer. You're really underrated, definitely. I, I love just watching and listening to you talk while you play your games. It's quite fun and chill. I really like it. I sent you a Scott photo, Susie. What? Okay, guys. We're gonna take a little breaky to see Scotty. Scotty doesn't know. Scotty doesn't know. Do you guys know that song? Obviously, we can't. We can't play it on the stream. But uh, yeah. Oh, also sorry, Schrodinger. I literally have just seen your message. I have not hopped onto um Discord for. A while basically since I started working. Oh, Scotty! What a little cutesy. Oh, he's growing out of his baby hair, huh? How old is he, by the way, Schrodinger? Because he looks kind of like. looks like a youngin still, so far. Basically. I'm gonna move myself back here. Ooh, just in the, just in the correct spot I move myself to. <laughs> YouTube tags, I love YouTube talk. We have to do it, Andrew. We have to do the YouTube talk, guys. Figuring out the YouTube algorithm it is like my one goal in life. <laughs> I'm not even joking. It's so freaking hard. I meant it as a joke. What did you mean as a joke? Oh, you didn't post new memes and videos? 
good times. Good times indeed, Brad. Good times. I miss Jordan. I miss Jordan streaming. He left this world, but yeah. I still I still talk to Jordan actually. I I called him ages ago, but I haven't spoken to him since. Jordan is like such a cool person, honestly. Like with Jordan, like you can talk about anything with Jordan and he doesn't judge you. He's just like a really great person to talk to. He's just a really good fucking friend. And like he gets unfriended all the time by stupid people and it gets on my nerves because he's like he's just such an awesome person, underappreciated. We play Rocket League together. Ooh, that's cute. Though I don't know if I like Rocket League. Okay, I haven't played it. Is is it good, Schrodinger? Do you like Rocket League? How do you feel about it? Yeah, that's fine. Okay, okay, Jack. Because I was scared. You didn't reply to my comment, so I thought maybe you don't want to talk about tags. No problem for the message. Okay. He's one year and a half. Oh, he's a youngin! You can still see his little baby hairs. He'll grow out of them, I think. He'll probably shed some hair and then he'll get like the shiny hair, you know? Like, cause when, when doggos are still little babies, they kind of get like toughy hair. I don't know how to describe it, but the texture is just a little bit rough and fluffy, more fluffy, I would say. And then like when he drops all that, he just gets like nice shiny skin. It's really cool. Susu, I think Jack was talking about the online dating thing. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Okay, I'm glad you made it as a joke. Probably, Jack probably wants, wishes he could do that with his gal, you know? No, I did post things lol, but anyways, what about the tags? So with the tags, I'm saying I think you should do a little bit of research and I think you should find out exactly what type of tags to put for yours. Because you always put hashtag viral and hashtag blah blah and blah blah. And I think those tags are out I think those hashtags are outdated. And I, I don't think they're boosting your videos the way you would hope. Like the fact that some of your videos are doing really well and then others aren't makes me think that it's about the tags and not necessarily about like what you're posting, you know? Like the more people that see your memes, the better it is. Also like, I don't know what category you put your videos under. Do you put them under enter entertainment? Cause you might want to put them under comedy. Or like, like, you know, like, I don't know if there's a memes category, but maybe if you put them there as well, or they just could do better. Also, you could definitely post your memes to Reddit. It's a really good thing to do. Like you post the YouTube link. So post your video on YouTube and then take the link and then you post that into a subreddit tweet somewhere. And I've seen people get thousands of views off that. Like really good. It's difficult for me because I'm a gamer, so I can't really take my games and post it into thousands of places. A lot of gaming reddits or subreddits are restricted. Some of them only allow you to post once a week, some of them only allow you to post once a month, and some of them like you just post into the main game channel, but even those can be like not allowing. But because yours is generic and just memes, I think you can post yours on pretty much most subreddits. But like, do you know Reddit? Like, have you used it at all? Do you know what it's like? I'm trying to figure out the Reddit path also. Apparently, it's fantastic if you get like the right Reddit groups. So if, if you get a good group, please let me know, um, Andrew, because I'm looking. I'm looking. I posted, I posted my Poppy Playtime video on the Poppy Playtime Reddit and it didn't do fantastic, but it did do like 10 to 20 views, which actually boosted the video. And then because my channel had been getting recommended in general, that boosted the video more. So that video has like 200 plus views on it and it's still growing slowly. 
So I think like that initial little boost, it just gives your video a little kick, you know? And that's just what you need. You just need a little kick. Especially for you, Jack, because you're a very consistent uploader. You upload all the time. You should upload your memes to other places. Also, Instagram is great, Jack. I definitely recommend you make an Instagram and post your edits on there, post your edits on your TikTok, but they shouldn't be your personal accounts. They should be like an alt for your channel, you know? I posted a clip with my YouTube play page as a watermark and the post, uh, wait, I posted a clip with my YouTube page as a watermark and the post got 2K views, but didn't really transfer to YouTube views. Okay, so yes. Did you post the link or did you post the actual video? Because if you post the actual video to Reddit, it won't transfer to views. But if you post the link to YouTube, Reddit should show it as a video but it will transfer to YouTube views, I think. I think that's how it works. Cause um, my friend Silver, well, you guys know Silver anyway. My housemate, my friend Silver, he basically does programming. So, ah, uh, okay, I see. You posted a video because links weren't allowed. Mm, that's the thing, that won't transfer to views directly. Cause that's kind of like, yeah. Yeah, it's native to Reddit basically, yeah. So that won't transfer. But the other th one I'm talking about where you post the link, that should transfer because when they click on that video to view it, because it was originally a link and the website is just doing some cool funky stuff to make it appear as a video, that video you're viewing is actually sourced from YouTube in a way. So there's just some weird things going on in the background. Basically because of that reason, the views convert. I know because Silva had a website and on his website, he would like, he had a little blog and on his blog, he would basically embed his videos from YouTube and the views would count. Although his blog was a completely different website and nothing to do with YouTube. So that's how it is. Yeah, I wish Twitter allowed embedded links. I know, I know, it's a tough thing. Maybe Elon Musk will allow them, who knows? We don't know, we don't know. Has Twitter's name changed? Is it still Twitter? Or like, did they just change like the, uh, the company name? I think I'll drop my link in the comment next time. That's a good idea, yeah. Oh, maybe you should, you could do something like clickbaity. Maybe you could do like click below to see my logo or something. And then it could be in the comments. Maybe you can do that. More controversy with ad revenue split. Hmm, yeah. I still call it Twitter, but it's legally called X. It's just X now. I don't know why he changed the name. Honestly, Twitter is such a good name. Bro, it's such a good name. Like, can we just talk about Twitter being such an amazing name? I think it's great. At first, I didn't get it. I was like, why is there a bird for a logo? And it was like Twitter between the birds. But I think Twitter as like twittering between each other, like talking between each other, I think that as a name is great. I hit 30k overall views. Congrats, Jack. That's fantastic. Congratulations. Cheers, dude. Sorry, I left for a bit. I had to concentrate on my game of chess. Schrodinger, are you winning? Are you at checkmate? Congratulations, Jack. Yes, Jack is awesome. So. Let's get back to the game for a little sec, guys. So you'll still have a weird, quiet place to meet up at night. So basically, we just established that I'm a rich coffee shop owner, and I open at midnight and stuff, at night only, basically, and I'm able to provide coffee to these wonderful people. We also have elves and orcs and humans in this realm, so that's good to hear. By the way, are you a regular here? 
I don't really have anywhere else to go. I'm a writer who works west at night in a coffee shop. Not so many options for that. Oh, no wonder. She's a pretty good writer, you know. You can find some of her stories in the evening whispers. Shut up! <laughs> wow, that's really interesting. What kind of things do you cover? I cover the stories of people around town. Personal, interesting, weird stories. I also contribute to their short stories. Speaking of stories... <laughs> we just started. It's gonna last at least a few days. Oh no, Schrodinger, I hate those games. Is it the one where you have to wait for the other person to play? Hmm. Before I sleep, definitely gonna have one of those self-mirror talks. Remember, remember Jack. God did they didn't believe in us. God did. Okay, when when you think of that, yeah, just think like they didn't believe in us, but Susu did. I believe in you, Jack. I believe in you, okay? Go get the girl. You got this. To get paid by YouTube, you need like 10 million overall rules and 500 subs. Yeah, for shorts, it's pretty, pretty damn high. Yeah. But if you did videos, I think it would be less, but I don't think you're interested in videos, are you? You have a week to play the game and when the other one makes a move, you get a notification. I see, I see. Mm. Interesting, Schrodinger. How many games have you won of chess? <laughs> are you good or are you bad at chess? What, how, what level would you say you are? What was I gonna say? Oh right, since we're talking about short stories in the game, Schrodinger, how is your story going? I know you were writing a story, right? Also Schrodinger, how did your presentation about football go? I started yesterday, so I'm pretty bad. <laughs> uh, that's okay, Schrodinger. You'll get good quickly, okay? Guys, I'm actually epic at solitaire. I know, I know it's nothing to brag about, but like, I'm, I'm pretty good at solitaire, okay? And like, I do really well at solitaire because I think about it logically. I would love to do a logical stream with you guys where I logically play solitaire basically or logically play anything i can logically play like games like candy crush even though it's like luck based i can do like the most optimal moves to win the game but i don't play candy crush i play gardenscapes i don't know if you guys have heard of that game it's it's pretty cool like you you play a couple of levels and then you get to upgrade your garden and your house. It's perfect. It's exactly my dream game. Um, <laughs> mm. <laughs> Candy Crush, the game that my mum mastered. Bro, honestly, my mum was at like level 500 something. I was like, what are you doing? I was like, how, why have you played this game so much? And my mum was like, I'm addicted. I was like, okay. I was like, okay, you do you, mum. <laughs> The football presentation went really good. My new number is 17. Well, well, what is your new number? What does that mean? I don't understand. Jack, Jack, have you gone to make a video? <laughs> I feel like Jack and me talk about YouTube and then Jack goes and makes a video. <laughs> The number I have on the shirt when I play. Okay. Oh, okay. So what was your number before? Was it higher or lower? Wait, it must... My dad's on level 6700 on mobile <laughs> snooker. <laughs> hey, you know what? I thought snooker was such a boring thing. And then I went to my friend's grandma's house. And then my friend had to go for a while and do something. So I was just sitting there in the living room with his grandma. And his grandma was like, really cool. She was kind of like a crackhead, but she was kind of cool. Um, she gave me a gobstopper. I don't know if you guys know what that is. It's like a sweet that you put in your mouth. It's really cool. I love it. I love gobstoppers. 
she gave me a gobstopper and she was just like watching stuff on the TV and I had to sit next to her and watch it with her while I waited for my friend. And she was watching snooker. And like, I thought snooker was the world's most boringest thing. I was hooked. By the end, like by the end, by the time my friend came back, I was like, bro, I want to watch this snooker match. I want to know who wins. And then his grandma was like, don't worry, honey. I'll tell ya. You go and play. <laughs> it was so funny. <laughs> but yeah, snooker can be pretty damn entertaining. So don't judge your dad, Jack. Before it was 15, is it good for the numbers to go up? Aren't they supposed to go lower? Are jawbreakers and gobstoppers the same thing? Yeah, they're the same thing. I love them! Jawbreakers. What's your favorite flavor, Jack? I, I think I like the element of surprise. Cause you just, you keep licking it and then like there's more and more layers that get uncovered. And I just think I like the element of spice. Also the bubble gum at the end. The bubble gum is gorge. I love that it's just like a massive bubble gum. My only disappointment is that the bubble gum is not fully filled. I swear they don't have flavor to them. Jack. You are kidding me, right? What kind of gobstoppers have you had? I'm talking about the massive ones. Hold on. I'm going to find you the ones I'm talking about. I'm not talking about like the tiny gobstoppers. And, and plus like they all have flavors. There's sugar, but like they all have flavors. Like these. So I'm, I'll move my camera for a second. Wait, I've, I've moved it to the wrong location. Like these, the massive ones. The best one I've had is massive one on a stick. Oh, a stick sounds good actually. Cause like, when it's on your hand, your hand kind of gets like sticky. It's not really the best. What is this? Candies or something? Yes, this is a candy. Uh, it's basically, you know, like candy floss? Like it's it's made in a similar way. It's just sugar, but it's flavored sugar, basically. And it's like a little ball and you just keep licking it. And then you get to the middle, which is like all the candies melted because you swallowed it. And then you just get like bubble gum. You see, you get like bubble gum in the middle. It's really nice. Like you eat them and they don't taste flavorful, like they taste dull. I don't know, Jack. The ones I've gotten have been great. So maybe like it depends on which gobstopper you get. There are so many options. There are so many flavors, by the way. Like it's not just like one flavor. You can get like different types of gobstoppers. You can get spicy gobstoppers, did you know that? I've had one, I don't recommend. It was horrible. It was like I ate a jalapeno. Okay, <laughs> it was really bad. The number does not matter. Oh, okay. Are you sure, Schrodinger? Why do you get a new number then if the number doesn't matter? Your mum. Man. I missed Pyro's comment, so I don't know when he said your mum, but thank you, Pyro. <laughs> like... Oh, I think I saw them somewhere on YouTube. We don't have these in Italy. Yeah, they're not really like a common thing. They're not really sold everywhere. You probably get them in like candy stores and stuff. And like... Rando places, you know. Ah, see? So they, they have layers and layers and layers and then you get to the little bubble gum. Pretty much rock candy in a bowl if it had layers like an onion. Yeah. 
I've had spicy gobstoppers. It was so sp spicy. It was Mexican gobstoppers I ordered from Mexico. No way, Jack. That's crazy. What is... What? Wait, guys, what is this? Everlasting gobstopper mini colony. This is not what we eat. <laughs> But yeah, gobstoppers are pretty, pretty cool. Let me move my screen back to here. There we go. I love their fiction, by the way. I have to read that because it's going to switch now. You wrote those stories? I got a new number because we changed the shirt design and we got new numbers. I see, I see, okay. I thought it was based on the presentation, my bad. Speaking onions, today I had my grandpa's birthday. Ah, oh, happy birthday to your grandpa, even though he does not know who I am. <laughs> um, and I ate pizza with tuna and onions. Oh, I mean, were the onions red? Were they red onions? Were they caramelized? <laughs> It had a warning label on the packet. LOL, Jack! Well, at least you didn't, like, put it into your eyes. Why do you love little nightmares? Pyro. I don't love little nightmares. You got the wrong idea, Pyro. I was just playing little nightmares because... Why did I play little nightmares? I wanted to try little nightmares. So I just started playing it. I started streaming it. And then, um, when I was playing the DLC, I met Kenners. <laughs> this is a little nightmare's free zone! <laughs> Damn right it is, Jack! Damn right it is. We have, a, we have a warning label on the stream now. No talk of little nightmares. Yeah, and then basically um, we played Little Nightmares 2 because of Kenners, because it was the game that Kenners wanted to play. The more I look at it, the more I think you are right. Lil... <laughs> Lil... NM. <laughs> yes. Oh, wait, Pyro has a different profile picture. Oh, I can't see it from here. To go into YouTube. Oh god, there's people outside my house. I can hear them. I'm trying to find you, Pyro. I found you. I actually like your... I like your YouTube banner. Your name, Pyro, scratched out. Very nice. NM stands for Little Nightmares. Oh, wow. I really couldn't guess, Pyro. <laughs> it was so hard for me to guess. The Papas! Papos! Welcome into chat, Papos. How are you, Papos? <laughs> Coffee code, though, generally, how are you? Also, where are you? Are you in the UK? Or are you in another country? Sopap greets Papos. <laughs> Papos is here to dominate the matter of universal law. I swear this is like Papos's one line <laughs> that he pulls from his screen. Can you put in big bold letters, no little nightmares chatters <laughs> on the screen before the stream starts? <laughs> oh, could you imagine, Jack? So Pap! Yesterday, I sliced my finger with scissors. How? How did you even manage that, Pyro? It weren't safety scissors. No. Ooh. Are you okay? You okay now? That sounds really horrible. How deep is the car? 
blessings may be upon you. <laughs> Also, coffee code. I'm back to working at Mum's. You should come visit. Peppos, I hope all is doing well. I'm fine. Yeah. Pyro is just a god like that. He's just immune to all kinds of cuts. He doesn't even feel it, you know? It was bleeding so much. I know. Cuts are like that. Even when I get like a little teeny tiny cut, just break. I kind of broke my nail today, even though I cut my nails. It's like, I don't know if you guys can see, but I, it's like the top of my nail. It's like my actual nail ripped, like a layer of my nail. I had to put like a band-aid around it, just so like, it doesn't keep getting stuck on things because it was getting stuck on things at work. Now I'm gonna file it when I get the chance, but yeah. Yeah, I didn't feel it. Yeah, it depends on the cart. Pyro. <laughs> May your fingers heal swiftly. Blessings upon you to learn how to scissor correctly in your future encounters. <laughs> oh my god. Hey, coffee code! You didn't answer my question! Let's go! My favorite team scored! Woo! Let's go, Schrodinger! Congrats! I'm happy for you, dude. <laughs> Wait! I've just noticed we don't know what Schrodinger's or Jack's love interests are called. I don't know their names at all. What was your question, Stream Queen? <laughs> My question was, what country do you reside in at this current time? <laughs> that was my question. Are you in the UK? Or no? Athena. Jack, you're scaring me. How, what do you mean, Athena? The other day, I went to the stadium and saw my team, by the way. Who's your team? Mother Georgia. <laughs> ah. Sorry, Susu, what was the question about me and Jack? I was saying we don't know who your, who the girl you guys like is called. Like, we don't know her name, you know? Kina Kale for breakfast. No, King Kale for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. What's King Kale? What is that? Is that a dish? Greece tomorrow. Okay, very nice, very nice. That's not how you say it. How how do I say it? How do I say it? You just butchered her name. Oh, that's her name. Oh god, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, Jack. I'm so sorry. How do I say her name? My fave team is Monzo. Then Italy, Switzerland, France, and finally UK in a week. Wow, that's a lot of countries there. Coffee code. <laughs> I one time sliced my finger so bad I couldn't see the cut when it wasn't bleeding. Why do you... Why do you have these incidents, Pyro? <laughs> it's very nice Georgian dumplings, kind of. Mmm, dumplings. I really like dumplings. This sounds exciting. Her name is Beatrice, which translates to Beatrix, I think. <gasps> no way, Schrodinger. So, in Slime Rancher, the main character's name is Beatrice. I like to call it Beatrix but I think it's Beatrice, right? I don't know, I'm not sure, but yeah, the main character's name is Beatrix and I love Slime Rancher. That's so cute. And how do I pronounce her name? Such I've had to say... Athena? Is it Athena? Athena? Is it Athena? Is 
and Kahatsapuri. Pyro, you must learn to scissor correctly. This one wasn't from scissors. Bro, I'm not even gonna lie. The other day I was cutting some onions and I I kind of almost sliced myself as well a little bit. It was from a sliding glass door. Oh no, Pyro. You little clumsy. I give you a kissy. Mwah. I hope you get better soon. Well, I know it's not now, but yeah. I hope your cut heals soon. The last one. Uh, Athena? It's the name of a Greek goddess. Yes, it is. Wow! What the frick, guys? How is like... How is like both of your love interests having like freaking amazing freaking names? Athena is my mama. <laughs> I mean, Zeus is also like Coffee Code's father. Papos is a <laughs> drink man. Man, that was back in October 2022, bro. Like legit though. My mum's middle name is Athena. <laughs> I, I have to double check that I'm pronouncing it right. Does Athena come from Athens? It really is. I thought so. I know so. <laughs> no, it comes from Azerbaijan. <laughs> Well, I'm glad you're well, Coffee Code, wherever you are. And then there's me, with one of the most common names in Italy, Matteo. I think it means gift of God. Wait, is, is Matteo Matthew? Or was, like, it translated to something else in English, right? What was the English alternative to that? Gift of God is a pretty damn cool name, not gonna lie. Yep, it's Matthew. Ah, oh, okay, okay. Uh, there was someone in my class called Mateus. <laughs> oh, and I really scared that guy. That guy would like, give me creepy looks and stares and just come up to me and say like the most randomest dodgy things. So one day, guys, when we were at the museum, <laughs> this is a true story, by the way, I just like, hold on. I literally just like, I snuck up to him, okay? He was just standing and then I just like, I snuck up to him and then I went like, Matthias. <laughs> and he, he spun around and I said, how are you? Okay, and my goal here was to scare the shit out of him and I succeeded. And he was really creeped out and he was really weirded out. You know, the best way to get a weirdo off you guys is to scare them away, to make them think you're the bigger weirdo. And it worked. Then uh, he, he literally never spoke to me again. He literally avoided me <laughs> with the plague. The museum was dark as well. I must have scared like the crap out of that guy. Um... Her surname is my dad's name too, so that's a sign. Hey yo, Jack, you you guys are technically married, you know? That's how it is. E. Pyro is back to his E. <laughs> Thank you, Pyro. And then there's me, the only person named Papos in the world. It has been granted to me by Thanos when he destroyed the Infinity Stones. I was created by the power conjured of all universe power. But like, oh yeah. Wait, yeah, that was his goal, wasn't it? His goal was to like, kill everyone and everything and then create his own world or something stupid like that. Best way to prevent videos is to be the weirdo. It is! Is it not? Is it not, Coffee Code, though? Is it not? <laughs> Brain. Brain. 
I don't have to try, I'm naturally a weirdo. Well, I'm also a weirdo, but this guy was more creepy, you know? And he would say really weird things. He was also mean to my friend, now that I think about it. I think that's what triggered me, really. Like, you know, I just, I usually just ignore people and the crap that comes out of their mouth, because, you know, people just speak. Everyone and their mom has an opinion about something. I just ignore it usually. But this guy, this guy was really weird. He said something mean to my friend. Oh, yeah, that's it. That's that's what happened. That's what happened. He said something weird to my friend. And then my friend was like, you only say that because of your dad or something. Or like how you're brought up or something like that. And then he was like, my dad is dead. And then my friend was like, oh, I'm sorry. And then he was like, you should be or something. I don't know. It got really weird. It was very weird. My wife is weird too. Uh huh. <laughs> I am the living infinity stones. My second wife is also weird too. You have a second wife? And my third wife is a husband too. <laughs> I don't have my fourth wife yet. Wow. Coffee code. <laughs> living it up with the wifeys. Wifeys. Why is your profile picture a pink pumpkin with a cat? Because I have it as a sticker on my table, actually. Let me see if I can show you guys. I have missed calls. Who called me again? Oh, it was just my taxi. Okay. You see this? This is my sticker right now, on my table here, and um, I edited it, and then I made it pink. I love pumpkins, and plushies are my favorite. You can you can see my plushie over there. I have a lot of plushies actually. Uh, I don't know if you can see all of them. Like there's that plushie down there. That is a plushie thing. Um, do you guys know what plushies are? There's like little caddos, okay? And they're a brand and I love them. My real name, Papa. <laughs> I just discovered where you came up with Papos from. Guys, we haven't even gotten to like the interesting part of the story. Then, are you here to write a new piece? I should be. But I don't even know what to write about. <laughs> yeah, I just figured out. <laughs> Welcome. So this is an elf. And this is an orc. I think they're gonna have some race issues. Oh god, wait. We don't- we don't move them. We don't move where I'm sitting. I'm sitting with all these guys. Hi. Sorry to keep you waiting. It's okay. I had a nice chat with the fine folks here. Hi there. Hello. Hi, would you like to order something? Hmm. Surprise me. What kind of order is that? Well, I don't really know what to order. Oh! I'm also really good at making drinks now, guys. I literally make the best coffee now. <laughs> I was born Papos and I will die Papos. And so Pap will carry the weight of the world with the infinity power as his ally. So Pap, are you ready for the challenge? <laughs> Also, being a weirdo is a cool thing, Schrodinger. People don't appreciate it, but it'll be fine when you get older. Hi! Hey, Kenny Delicious! How are you? Yes, sir! My estimated year of death is... Coffee code, why you do this to me? One zero zero zero zero zero zero zero zero zero zero zero zero zero zero zero zero zero zero zero zero zero zero zero zero zero zero zero zero zero zero zero zero zero zero zero zero zero zero zero zero zero zero zero zero zero zero zero zero zero z
zero AC. If I tried to make a drink, I would probably poison someone or something by how bad it will turn out. Honestly, I wasn't very good at making the like foam because you, you use the little straw thing and then there's like a little you put milk in it and then like it it's supposed to like spin the milk and then it makes the milk frothy and you put that into the coffee and stuff like that and all that jazz right and I wasn't very good at it um, but then I got used to it oh coffee code actually I want to ask you since you know about drinks um, so when you say one shot espresso that just means one serving of the coffee right and then when you say two shots of espresso does that mean you go and you put more coffee or does that mean you just have a bigger cup like what does that mean i know about drinks don't you i thought you you knew about drinks and like bartending and stuff did you not i swear you said that in one of the streams no haha <laughs> i do know i of course you do. I know everything. I have knowledge of the universe. Oh my god. <laughs> How did I fall for that? A trillion years after the universe collapses into a singularity so small, an ant will be bigger than it. What? Oh, where would you stand, Papos? Has your question, punny human? What What is the difference between one-shot espresso and two-shot espresso is my question for you, Papos. Kenners, what are you doing? How was your rice, by the way? I know you said it was yum, yum, yum, yum, yum. One contains one shot, one contains two shots, answered. Yes, but is it two shots of coffee then? Because you know, you have to like make the coffee in the thing. Let me go into the details. Yes, yes, please, yes, please. Yes, please, Sir Papos, enlighten us all. While you do that, I'm going to continue reading this. Do you have any preferences, sir? Something bitter to keep me awake with milk, oh, and draw some latte art on the top. Okay. So, bitter probably means coffee. Coffee. We made it really bitter, and then we just put some milk in it. And now we just do some latte art, because you wanted some latte art, but um... We're not very good at latte art, let's be real. Now we're gonna... Honestly, I... Yeah... <sighs> he better rate my latte art really high, even though it's like... Really bad. What do you guys think? Oh, you guys can't see, hold on. What do you guys think about my latte <laughs> art? Scott is chilling here with me right now. Hello, Scotty! You can't hear me, but I love you anyway. One shot normally uses seven to nine grams of coffee grounds and you roughly get 18 grams of liquid. Okay, two shots usually used around 14, 18 gram ground coffee and you get around 28 gram liquid. Okay, yes, yes, yes, yes, yes, yes, yes, yes. I get what you're saying, I get what you're saying. So it's exactly what I thought. But, okay, so come, someone came into the shop today and they were telling me that like their espresso was supposed to be too short and they were saying like, shouldn't the cup be bigger? And I, and I was literally, I literally just looked at them and I was like, even with my minimal coffee knowledge, I didn't think that was correct. I, I'm pretty sure one shot means like one shot of coffee and two shot means like two shots of coffee. So it's just like amount of coffee in the cup. So your cup wouldn't have to be bigger or smaller. <laughs> Susa, tell Papos about what's happening tomorrow. Master would be proud. Oh yes, coffee code. So Jack, has a date with the girl he likes tomorrow at 2 p.m. 
Jack is going to look his best. He's going to, Jack, you should put on perfume. Do you have perfume? Do you have men's perfume? Don't just go and put on your mum's perfume. Men's perfume. What's happening tomorrow, Jack? Schrodinger, you're supposed to know. Tro, you already know. <laughs> I like that sentence, Tro, you already know. It kind of rhymes. I have cologne and I am gonna. Oh, you know, as a, as a girl, I really like aftershave. It's like, it's like my one thing that I really love, but I don't think you should put on aftershave. I'm not gonna recommend that. For Molten brown cologne. Okay, I hope that smells good. You're scaring me with what that, what's that's called. If the coffee machine is set up correctly, it'll take around 28 to 30 seconds for the liquid to be extracted. Okay, okay. Co coffee code, you know all this in such detail. Are you reading from chat GPT? Oh, I mean, um, I mean, um, is God talking to you right now? <laughs> oh yeah, sorry Jack. By the way, congrats, I hope it goes as well. Uh, Schrodinger is so cute. He just got excited, okay? He thought something else was happening and he just wanted to know, Jack. It's okay, lol, thanks. No, the company is called Molten Brown. Oh, okay, okay, okay, thank goodness. Cause I was thinking like molten and brown and a perfume. Mm. I don't know what that smells like, but that sounds scary. Mr. Jack, I bestow upon you the power of Papos. May you be blessed with oozing sexiness, good looks, charisma and extreme attractiveness towards the human you are encountering thank you sir papas i just love coffee no way you actually know those details off by heart that is crazy i'm really impressed coffee code i mean your name is coffee code so <laughs> okay okay you guys ready? We're gonna serve this now. Here's your order. Haha, <laughs> is this what you call latte art? That's cute. No, he bullied me, guys! He bullied me! He did say my drink was perfect though, so... You know what I'm saying. Anyway, I was distracted by some work, plus there's the rain. It's okay. Baileys. Why is he called Baileys like the drink? I was having a nice chat with them. Oh yeah, I haven't properly introduced myself. I'm Baileys. Oh my, where are my manners? I haven't introduced myself either. My name is Lua. Hi, I'm Freya. Nice to meet both of you. I'm Survivor Sussy. Kenners, I can't believe you gave me this freaking name. I'm just literally introducing myself to these bunch of people as Survivor Sussy. Literally Survivor Sussy. The scent is black pepper recharge. That sounds good actually. That sounds decent. You're welcome Mr. Jack. May you smash like the Hulk. No! No! Copy code! No! Bro, as soon as Papo said that, she texted me. No, no, no, no way, Jack. This is a sign. The Papo's blessing is already working. Smash my paddle hand. The Papo's believes me. There will be no smashing coffee code. What's she saying? If I can ask, Schrodinger. That's so personal. Schrodinger wants the goss. <laughs> Hey, did you know that Freya here is a writer for the Evening Whispers? Oh, really? I've done some work for them f a few times. Oh, what? What kind of work? I'm a freelance designer and illustrator. I've done some caricatures and in infographics for the paper. I assume you're in contact with Steve? Yeah, he's a nice guy to work with. Oh, really? No, he isn't. <laughs> but I've dealt with worse clients. Way worse. Yeah, I'm glad he's in the design and visuals department. 
I wouldn't be able to stand working with him directly. Haha, <laughs> come on. He's tough to deal with, but definitely not the worst. Oh, of course. No matter how deep you go, there's always another layer of hell. How do you usually deal with bad customers here? Oh, guys, honestly. We had a bad customer today, and the way I deal with them is I just, like... Kill them with kindness, you know? I literally just kill bad customers with kindness. Sorry, Jack. <laughs> it's okay and it's a snap, so probably it's just a Facebook. I'm gonna open now. Hmm. Guys, by the way, I'm probably gonna stop streaming in about 12 minutes. I'm thinking because like I gotta I gotta go you could you could also kill them with poison mmm I could do but then like it would also be on camera because like we have seven cameras in the shop oh my god guys do you know what happened today <laughs> man my mom bought like love heart spoons okay my mom bought like love heart spoons and they're really cute and she was recently in turkey so she brought them from there and a customer today offered to like pay for a spoon and purchase it and we were like no it's not for sale and then they said they think customers will steal it anyway and we wouldn't know and I literally looked at the bro like, we have seven cameras in the store. We can see all angles of the store. Do you really want to go to jail because you wanted to steal a spoon in a cafe? Bro, do you want a criminal record because you couldn't resist the urge of leaving an item that is not yours in a store? Literally, guys. Literally. Let me see what you guys are saying. Joking. I know you're joking, Coffee Code. It's okay. Modern problems require modern solutions. <laughs> That's the way it is, Schrodinger. Apologies. Someone smashed? No, no one smashed in the cafe. Apologies, sir. I am Papos, an ancient being. I'm still learning the ways of the new world order. I cleaned my shoes to make them presentable. Mr. Jack. Yes, Papos, sir. <laughs> That's cute, Jack. I love the effort you are putting in. Shiny shoes equals Hulk smash. <laughs> oh, guys. It's a shame I'm not streaming tomorrow. Now we don't get like to know what happened. How are we gonna, we're gonna have to wait until next week to find out about the date. I'm putting in so much effort. Yes, that's how it should be, Jack. I'm so happy you're putting in effort. <laughs> You'll probably stop caring a few relationships down the line so it's it's good that you care right now <laughs> it's good that you're putting in the effort right now in all honesty hope it goes well jack if i could give some real piece of advice yeah jack has been asking for advice all the time why can't you stream tomorrow i'm not asking you to do it i'm just asking i could stream tomorrow yeah, I think I work less hours tomorrow as well, but the, technically I still leave at 4. Um, we start at like 8, so I get to sleep more. And then, yeah, should I stream tomorrow? Do you guys want me to stream tomorrow? I'm gonna shower. I folded fresh clothes and everything. Normally I don't stream on Sundays because I stream on Fridays and Saturdays and that's enough for me. 
stream tomorrow? Do it. Okay, okay, okay. We're streaming tomorrow, guys. We've decided. Do you guys want me to play a specific game? Is there anything you guys want me to play tomorrow? Look, I have money now. I can buy any game you guys can dream of. Okay. Yay! Yay! <laughs> Roblox. Pyro. I've already told you I'm not playing that game. <laughs> Could you imagine me on Roblox? Me on Roblox, guys. Come on now. The council has decided what? Tomorrow there will be a stream. Yes. Adjourn! <laughs> Papos commands you to stream. Thank you, Papos. Thank you. Talk about things that interest you and ask her what her interests are too. Find a subject you can relate and roll off it. You got it, keep it chill, have fun, and don't overthink it. That is such awesome advice. I agree with that. Also, like, finding out what she likes is very important, Jack. Like, just find out what she likes, and you could even get her a gift of something she likes, and I think she would really appreciate that. But not tomorrow like find out what she likes tomorrow and then get her a gift another time i like your outfit by the way you look like a wizard really i look like a wizard wow <laughs> i'm kind of a witch though brad i'm not a wizard I'm a witch yeah i mean I just have this like fleece on because it was kind of cold. I thought, honestly guys, I thought this was gonna be our first stream where I actually like wore a long sleeve top, but no, I, I wore a dress. This is, this is actually like a little dress. Yeah, a little fluffy dress. So I, I didn't wear a long sleeve, but hey, maybe tomorrow I can uh, wear a long sleeve. I don't know. If it's cold enough, I will. Susu looking like a Hogwarts teacher. Hold on. Where are my glasses? My glasses aren't here. Oh no. If my if only my glasses were here, I literally could look like a Hogwarts teacher. Uh, do you know which teacher I'd want to be? I think she's called Mrs. McGonagall. Is that right? Is she called Mrs. McGonagall? I want to be that one. And I would like to transfer into an animal. Want some more advice? <laughs> Give all the advice. Jack wants all the advice. Coffee code, you're a real homie. No, but honestly, I appreciate it so much. Hey, Susu, I have fan art for you. Really? What? <laughs> you do? Wait, didn't you? Sorry, Pyro, I missed your message. Somewhere up there, you said you had fan art. You have fan art for me? Yes? Okay. I want to see. What is it, Pyro? I want to see. I didn't know you could draw. I'm scared now. <laughs> I'm really anxious now. <laughs> yes, please. <laughs> I love how Jack is saying yes, please, for a different thing. Regardless of what girls say, it's still very sexy to be a traditional gentleman. I don't know what girl would say, don't be a gentleman. I'm coffee code I've never had that pay for the bill but do it secretly oh no <laughs> uh, I have a story about this my worst ever date guys oh my god my worst ever date in my life Go to the bathroom and come back when you leave. Mention it's taken care of. Oh no, that's exactly what he did. Oof. Don't ever do it though. Probably no flowers for first date. Okay, coffee code. That is actually some great top tip advice. It's a walk, but thanks. <laughs> yeah, they're going on a walk day. It's, it's pretty cute. If it's raining, bring an umbrella. Don't forget your umbrella if it's raining. Oh, and if it's really cold, give her your jacket. Maybe bring a spare jacket though, so you don't freeze. I don't know. 
try not to fixate on the outcome. That's some very solid code. Sorry, uh, solid feedback, advice. What am I saying now? Guys, you can tell it's, it's so to end. But okay, guys, I'm gonna tell you guys about my worst ever date, okay? Because yes, I've had a bad date. I sent you it on Discord. Okay, hold on. Let's check that out first. Are you kidding me? I love it so much! Oh my god! I didn't even know my voice could hit this note. <laughs> Is my mic picking up my voice? Oh my god, I love it! Look at me, and I've got my little PC. That is so freaking cute, and my little cat. Pyro! Pyro, this is so awesome! This is so cute. Pyro, thank you so much. I need, you know what? I have a surprise for you, Pyro. I have a surprise for you. This is the best thing ever. Can I even do this, like, while I'm streaming? I'm not sure, but let's give it a go. Hold on, let's keep the music playing. New channel profile picture. You're ruining the surprise, Jack. Stop. <laughs> How did you know? <laughs> I actually am as well. Uh, okay, it doesn't really fit. It doesn't like, not all of it fits, but it's okay. We're just, we're just changing it. <laughs> Everyone is gonna ask what this is now. And they should. It's freaking amazing. Hold on. Oh, it's not changed yet. Hold on, I'm I'm refreshing it and refreshing aggressively until it changes. Is it is it gonna change? It's changed! It's changed and it's so freaking cute! Wait, I wanna see it. A big action. I want to see it massive. Okay, it's, it's not updating fully, but yeah. Let's go, let's go, let's go. <laughs> Thanks, I really appreciate it, everyone, as I don't get support often. Jack! Oh no, we always support you. Don't be silly. I really respect and love this community we've created and hope for future memories. Jack, you're gonna make me cry! What are you guys doing to me? I got fan art! <laughs> then Jack said a sentence like that, stop it! You guys are trying to make me cry. I need to calm myself. I need to not cry on the stream. <laughs> I'm a cold, heartless person, okay? I don't cry for anyone that dies in valiant hearts. <laughs> but I'll cry for you, cuties. Pyro! Pyro, you can't just send fan art like that and disappear. Come back here. Come back here. Pyro, say something. Go 
focus on the present moment, try to feel happy that you're sharing this moment with her. Whatever happens, try to feel like it doesn't matter what happens. It's just pleasant to be sharing this moment. That's really cute, copy code. With that person, people really resonate with that. And that's great, man. Yeah, humor is great. Yeah, I've got the personality of Spider-Man, if you know what I mean. <laughs> I mean, Spider-Man is pretty cool, not gonna lie. I mean, he's a bit geeky nerdy, but he's kind of really cool, I think. Susu, you just made a note so high, only dogs and bats can hear it. <laughs> Thank you, Schrodinger. You know, what can I say? I'm just training to sing with you guys. That's how it is. You don't have to listen to anything I say. She clearly already likes you to be going on a date. Yeah, but that's the thing, Coffee Code. We don't know if it's a date, or we don't know if she just likes her. What? Pyro! Do you not know? I just reacted to your fan-made art. And I've changed it to my profile picture. Go on my YouTube and see my profile picture now. I like it, it's really cute. Thank you so much, Pyro. Mwah. Oh, okay. Pyro playing it cool. Look at Pyro trying so hard to play it cool, dude. Yes, okay, Pyro. <laughs> People like you for you, so do what you do, enjoy it, and I'm sure it'll be great, and you'll smash. Hulk smash! <laughs> a little community with big heart is better than a massive community with no effort. 100%. 100% Jack. Tro, I appreciate you and the online bond we've created. <gasps> that is so cute. Copy code, I really appreciate the advice and Papa's so packed relationship. Susu, I really appreciate the love and passion you put into your streams and the care you give your viewers. Man, I'm gonna cry! Stop it! Stop it, I'm actually gonna cry! Jack! You idiot! <laughs> Sweet, cute idiot, but you're actually gonna make me cry. Stop. Okay, no more soapy stuff! No more, because I will actually cry. What do you mean? Pyro, <laughs> don't worry about it, Pyro. I'm too busy crying to explain right now, Pyro. <laughs> the fan-made art you made is my profile picture now on YouTube. Go on my YouTube and see what my profile picture is. That's what I'm saying, Pyro. Thank you, Jack. I hope everything tomorrow goes well. <laughs> Jack, tomorrow is going to be awesome. You're gonna destroy. Okay, go out there and have a good time. Mr. Jack, are you so pap? Dun, dun, dun. Yes, do you not, wait, coffee code. You, you knew he was so pap, right? He changed his name to Asparagus Edits. I know, but you said I'm trying really hard to play it cool in some way. Yes, I thought you were trying really hard to play it cool like you didn't know or something. Yes, but the rage and sadness I previously centered around the soap name is dead. Peace and prosperity is among me. <clears throat> if you are so pap, then tomorrow you will smash. There is nothing to fear, my paddle one, universal master. Okay, okay. I'm gonna share with you guys should I share with you guys my really bad date? I don't want to share it. I will share it tomorrow, okay? If you guys remind me, I'll share it tomorrow. It's about what Coffee Code said. About the getting up and the... Should I share it now? I don't want to ruin this beautiful moment. <laughs> but the story is kind of funny. H. No, it's E, Pyro. You love E. As A. There's nothing to fear as a Padawan Universal Master. Let's do it. Okay. okay. So, I went on this date and 
the guy was very eager and the guy was fine up until this point okay nothing was weird everything was fine we went on a day um i don't know where we went we just went to somewhere like a pizza place or something okay and then like we're just chatting as you do and like we're not dating like we're not boyfriend and girlfriend we're just chatting we're just on a date okay commands <laughs> you to share the guy identified as a table oh no no no he didn't identify as anything no no <laughs> Brad Nike enters the chat <laughs> just do it just do it okay so I'm on this date with him and then um he starts asking me questions about me okay and like I, I tell him that I do art and I do singing and stuff like this and I tell him that I write songs and stuff and then he starts bullying me now he identified as nothing yeah he doesn't exist he doesn't exist he starts bullying me guys he he bullied me he literally was like I don't know if he thought he was flirting I don't know if he thought it was funny but he literally just, bro, straight up said to me, like, Oh, do you think you're cool or something because you write songs? And man, this guy doesn't know how seriously I take my songwriting, but like, I wanted to slap the shit out of him, okay? When he said that, I was so mad. I, I was mad. And I was literally like, this date is over for me. <laughs> my mind I was so angry though I was so mad I was like how dare this mofo bully me on our date I was so angry anyway I didn't say anything to him I didn't say anything and I was like oh what do you write songs I was like do you write songs have you written songs I was like why don't you share a song with me that you've written and he didn't obviously because he hasn't written shit he's just making fun of someone who's written a song Wait, was it Mr. Mint? No, Mr. Mint is the sweetest. Mr. Mint is my hubby. Oh yeah, coffee code. You don't know, but I got married. I'm a married woman. You know? Um, I don't think I have the photos, actually. I got married to an NPC in a game. <laughs> and he's called Mr. Mint. He reminds me of my sex wife. <laughs> I detect bad execution of negging. Okay, no, it was whatever, okay? Guys, it was whatever. The, the date was whatever. At that point, he was dead to me. This guy was dead to me. He tried really hard to save it um, by laughing it off, which is the worst way to save it. You just say sorry, man. You just say sorry. And then he, like, he was like, I need to go to the bathroom. I am, I am, if I'm fuming at this point, it's like level 50, okay? It's like 50-50, like, I don't know if he's joking, I don't know if he's just bad at dates, I don't know what it is, okay? I, I'm just, I'm just fuming at this point, so I'm just like, I don't know if I want to date this guy, okay? That, that's where I was at. Now, what he did after, <laughs> made him go to 110, guys. 100 is the cap. 100 is the cap, but it made me go to 110. Coffee code, he did what you suggested. He pretended to go to the bathroom and he paid for the bill. He paid for mine and his meal. And you know what? When he went to the bathroom, I was starting to fume up so much. I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna leave. I was like, I'm just gonna leave. I just wanna pay for my half and leave. I was gonna wait for him to come back from the bathroom, but I was going to leave. So I take my card out to pay and I call the waiter and the waiter comes over and I'm just like, hey, can I please pay for my half? I was like, I'm not paying for him. I was like, can I please pay for my half? I, I just like don't wanna deal with this guy anymore. I've had enough. Like you don't bully someone on a date. I don't know why he thought that was a cool thing to do. But yeah, especially about my songwriting, that was just so personal to me. I was like, I'm not taking this. And I go to pay, and and the guy, I wouldn't be mad, still just leave. No. But 
with that. Hold on. The guy said, the guy like, is like, looks at me and then like, is like one moment. And then he goes and he checks with his friend and then he comes back and he's like, ma'am, your table has been paid for. And I was like, this motherfucker! Do you know how mad I am at this point? This point, I was fuming. I was like, oh my God. I was like, oh my God. Not only did he bully me, but he also paid for the table, which made me even more angry because it's like, oh, you're like being nasty. And then, and then you're like being cool. Like you're paying for the table. I didn't like that at all. So basically, um, yeah, I was pretty pissed off and I, um, I actually took money out of my purse and paid him. <laughs> I'm petty. I'm petty. If I'm annoyed, I'm annoyed. I'm petty. Okay. I actually took out cash and I paid him and I don't think he took it. He left it on the table, but I didn't care. I was like, they can take it as a tip, but I am paying for my half. So that was it. And that was my bad date, guys. That was my bad date. And obviously we didn't date. Um, but yeah, I did wait for him to come back from the bathroom. And I expressed to him that I'm not happy that he bullied me. And he still didn't apologize. He had the chance to and he didn't. So we just went our separate ways. And that was it. Oh, Jack, another important point, eye contact. Yeah, eye contact is good. But like, it depends on what type of girl she is. If she's a shy girl, Eye contact can make her feel uncomfortable, but you should try to look at her face at least. Like you don't have to have direct eye contact, but you should try to look at her face at least. Pretty important, shows intent. Yeah, it's a bit intense, but yeah, yeah, I guess. Okay, thank you. Can feel a bit awkward, yeah. <laughs> But breaking it often is good. Oh, that's a good idea. That's a good idea. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, just look at her, make eye contact, and then break it. That sounds like a great idea. To know you're listening. Yes. Must have been a big tip. <laughs> it was. It was way over. It was like £10 something because I paid for my whole pizza and my drink. So, yeah. When I went on my first date with my partner, whom I love very much, I pretty much didn't stop looking at her eyes or at all. Okay, uh, yes, thank you for sharing coffee code. Um, yes, great. That's a funny story, honestly. It is a funny story. <laughs> Especially considering how freaking mad I was. You guys should have seen my face when the waiter told me my table had been paid for. I lost my shit. I, I looked at him, I was like, what do you mean? I, <laughs> I wanted to confirm, he was like, ma'am, your table has been paid for. He, he must, the waiter must have been like, this bitch, like, unhappy that her table has been paid for. They must have thought I was like, ungrateful or something, but you know the frustration in me just got even worse. I was just like, this motherfucker. He bullied me and he paid for my table. I was like, how dare he? The audacity. Mm, like, is he a gentleman or is he an asshole? I can't tell. I don't know. Mm, contradiction behavior. <laughs> so yeah. Susu now wondering who is my girlfriend. Hmm. Hmm. I wonder. I agree. Yeah, it is a funny story. It is pretty funny. Also, Susu, I started writing the book. Oh, wait, Schrodinger, I missed one of your comments. Sorry, I see it now. Also, Susu, before you ask me about my story I was writing, I'm still at the start. I have to choose an important event that starts all the problems. Okay, what are the, do you know what the problems are like? Do you kind of have an idea of what you're gonna leave? E, thank you for the E, Pyro. You're so cute. Do you have an idea, Schrodinger? So like, maybe we can give you some ideas about what the event can be, you know, to trigger all these 
massive events. Which one? Which wife? You have so many coffee code. Which one could I pick? Which one is it? I won. <laughs> Guys, I said I was going to stop streaming like 20 minutes ago. You guys keep me here. We just keep chatting. We're just enjoying life. Um, Jack though, do you feel better about tomorrow now? Now that you've gotten such awesome advice from Coffee Code, do you, I feel like you're going to smash it. You do really well. Make sure you sleep tonight because not sleeping is a big problem. Make sure you sleep, Jack, okay? Like, watch loads of things, make yourself tired, go to, go to bedders, go to bedders. Yes, asleep, <laughs> yes, definitely. Can I ask? Is she British? Is she Ukrainian? <laughs> Greek? French? I actually have no idea. I'm searching the cause that starts World War Three, as we talked about that last time. Hmm. You should have it as something really dumb, Schrodinger. Something really dumb and silly. Probably like a tiff between the countries or something. Something like really mundane and simple. You know like how the World War Free how World War Free was gonna start between China and blah blah. Something like that. Something really dumb and stupid and mundane and plain. Or maybe you could have it as something dramatic. Maybe a president can get assassinated and then it sets up World War Free because people are blaming countries for it. You know, or I don't know, you know, I, I hope these are helping out. Human? <laughs> yes, Brad. Human is a very important detail. Human? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, human. Human is good. <laughs> More compatibility with humans. <laughs> date humans. <laughs> yes. That was my problem, guys. I was trying to date a troll. <laughs> You guys see what I did there? He thought he was funny as well. He thought he was funny. Could be problematic if she was a Uranian. <laughs> Thanks for the idea, Sisu. You're welcome, Schrodinger. Anytime. Let's go, Susu. Let's go, Jack. Let's go, Jack. I'm so excited for you for tomorrow. I think I'm not going to be able to sleep. I really want to know. Okay, in tomorrow's stream, we got to find out what happens. Jack, part two. We got to know, guys. We got to know. We got to know what happens. Uranium life form from Uranus. Uh, 252 subs. Yes! It's Pyro's alt account. Pyro is a cutie like that. A cutie that stays in chat and just says E. <laughs> we need to do like a... Is this an E? Yeah, this is a cool E, okay? It looks like W, but it's an E. You guys, you guys see what I, what I mean? Like, ignore this part of my hand. Oh god, oh god, okay, I can't do it, I can't do it. 252 is a really nice number. It actually is, you know, I'm not gonna lie. Wrong way. Okay, like, this way, Brad? Like this? No, wait. This way, oh no, right, you're right, Brad, you're right. <laughs> this is so hard for me, <laughs> why? I see you with your alt account subs. Appreciate it. I'm trying to get more subs. They don't not a hint for chat to sub. Ayo, guys, if you are not subbed to Asparagus Edits, shame on you. Are you really a Susu and Jack supporter if you're not subscribed to Jack as well? Mm-mm. Mm-mm. 
My favorite though is 92. How come, Schrodinger? What is the reason behind this? It's also the number of the illness you attempt with. What, 92? Oh wait, I thought that was like someone who had lived up to 110. Right? 252. No one has lived up to 252. You can make it with one hand. Oh. Duh! I'm so stupid. <laughs> Brad is like slow clapping right now. <laughs> shame. Shame, shame. <laughs> it's just a nice number. Fair enough. Papos has subscribed. Papos! Thank you so much for subscribing to Jack. I'm a supporter of dot dot dot 252. Oldest human to ever live. Yes, Papos has. Did you know a frog can jump higher than the Eiffel Tower? That's because the Eiffel Tower cannot jump. Thank you, Pyro. It's these types of comments that just keep me up at night. <laughs> I'm just like waiting to see what you're gonna say next. Is it gonna be E or is it gonna be a comment like this? <laughs> Meghead Susan. <laughs> oh, I need to do another Meghead meme. I miss Meg, man. You know, I don't miss Dead by Daylight, but I miss Meg. She was my gal. She's my gal, man. You know there's sharks that live 500 years and sharks have been around before trees and survived four mass extinction events? Really? Wait, 500 years? What? That's kind of crazy. It's interesting to think that shark is the superior of all like living life form. Pyro. <laughs> hi, hi Reese, welcome into the chat. What genius is this? <laughs> yes? I don't know. <laughs> wanna hear a joke, everyone? Yes, I wanna hear a joke. I'm so down for a joke, Brad. Give it to me. The oldest human person ever was a woman from France who lives up to like 122, 123 years or something. Oh, ah, interesting. There are some theories though that someone from the pasta Lives up to 140 years, but it's not confirmed. What do you mean someone from the pasta? Do you mean someone from Italy? Or someone who just like eats pasta? I, I don't get it. Did you know there is a woman who resides in the rural parts in, in Tokyo? And if you see her, when you see her, you see her. Thank you for that coffee code. Again, another amazing addition <laughs> to the chat. Theories that someone from the past lives up to 140 years, but it's not confirmed. Oh, I see. Right, so someone lived up to 140 years, supposedly, but it's not confirmed. Interesting story. Brad, where's your joke? Brad, are you calling someone a joke or are you, are you calling your life a joke? I, I don't get it. Like, what's the joke? What's the punchline, Brad? What's the, the punchline, Brad? They're called green sharks. They lived before trees. Before trees? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. We need to see these freaking green sharks, bro. So first of all, I'm gonna show you guys Pyro's account because I think this is really cool. I think this art here is really pretty. Freaking cool. Also, Pyro is like beating all of us. He has like 1.18k subscribers. Pyro is a freaking G, you know? <laughs> but okay, let's look up the screen shark. What is the screen shark? Bro, I've seen this guy. I've seen this little guy. Is it this one? Oh, they kind of look blind. Oh, he kind of looks so cute from here, not gonna lie. <laughs> They've lived for 500 years? What even is that? 
I don't even know what that is, but... She has lived for 500 years. What do they do? What do they do for 500 years? Greenland sharks. What? Greenland sharks. Oh my god, I'm looking at the freaking thing. Oh, okay, yeah. They came up anyway. Are they very, very deep in the water? So, like, no one, like, can reach them? What do you call a room with no windows? A mushroom. Do you know my favorite mushroom joke, Pyro? It's, excuse me, I don't have mushroom. Much room? Mushroom. You know? That's my favorite one. Why did the chicken cross the road? Oh, not one of these again. Oh, God. Are we just, are we all just like typing in our worst dad joke now? Is this what's actually going on? Is this what's actually happening, guys? <laughs> Why are we all just telling dad jokes? <laughs> Pretty much Schrodinger. Come on, join in. Might as well. They're called Greenland sharks, not green sharks. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Jack. I'm sorry. But I found it anyway. Hey, I found it anyway. Why did the chicken... Uh, why did the chicken cross the road? I really want to know. You really want to know why it crossed it. Why did it cross it? Guys, I literally saw a chicken the other day where I live. We have some like rich people who lives like on the outer street of where I live and one of their hens was casually going for a stroll. I had the shock of my life. <laughs> I'm just on my stroll and then I just see this freaking chicken and then the chicken sees me and then the chicken was like, oh no. <laughs> and the chicken ran to its gate and walked through the gates like you know like the gates with the bars it just ran through the bar back to its house <laughs> it was like the chicken went for a stroll so funny that's my dad joke i want to know why did it cross yeah they're deep deep search up how long have trees been around because sharks have been before then what do I... What the frick is MYA? What what is this currency or like notation like what is this also like how would you know what the oldest tree is without cutting it up like how do they know how do they even know gelp <laughs> gelp indeed pyro the earth is pretty old. Just like Susan. I, you know what guys, I am proud to be 600 years old this year. What can I say? Age suits me. <laughs> it's funny how in the past cars were driven by rich people while horses were used by the normal population. But nowadays it's the opposite. Rich people have horses and normal people drive cars. Schrodinger, that is an incredible fact. Just like Brad's, uh, Jack's actually. Sorry, I got confused with the names there. Jack, your fact about these sharks is very interesting. I also like Schrodinger's fact about the cars. That's pretty good. Kidding, don't kill me. Oh, no, no. I don't get offended at stuff like that. Honestly, like, 600 years? Mwah. <laughs> Honestly, like... I don't know. I don't know how you guys feel about it. Maybe it's because like I don't feel like I look old yet, but I'm not worried about aging. I actually can't wait to see like my little wrinkles, my little like eye wrinkles. Like look, when I smile, you can kind of see them. I don't know. I I don't mind being old. I think like it's just a way of life and like people are so obsessed with looking young and being young and 
I think like mentally not being young is very important because a lot of people are mentally young. It's not great. <laughs> they make bad decisions. But um, yeah, I just, I don't really care about the stigma about being old. You know, I don't know. It's not something I'm bothered about. No, not what the oldest tree is. How long trees have been on earth for? But you, you said the sharks have been around for 500 years. So I don't, I don't get it. So hold on. What, what, not what the oldest tree is. How long have trees been on earth for? How long have trees been on earth for? Oh, it says 350 and 420 million years ago. Is, is that it? Is, is that a thing? <laughs> Susu, what can I say? Me, except you're welcome. You're welcome. I love that song, honestly. <laughs> Shrove the Amish aren't rich, though. <laughs> Jack is just like prodding his holes in Schrodinger's <laughs> fun fact. Here in Italy, we have a 1,100 year old tree and I saw it and touched it. Did you feel its soul? <laughs> Did you feel its soul? Were you one with the tree, Schrodinger? You will age, you'll aged like fine wine. Thank you, Brad. That sentence makes a lot of sense. I don't know. I wonder, like, do you mean I will age? Or do you mean I have aged? Like, finally. <laughs> we need to know. We need to know the specifics, Brad. We just want to make sure. No Greenland sharks live... No. Greenland sharks live up to 500 years. And the sharks as a species are older than trees. Oh. That makes so much more sense, Jack. I was thinking, like... If the sharks live for 500 years, how are they older than trees? Thank you. Thank you for clarifying. I'm stupid, okay? I'm sorry. Age. <laughs> I'm just pissing Brad off. <laughs> I'm stupid too, it's okay. It's okay. We all have our stupid moments. You know, my favorite way to write stupid is like this guys i love typing it like this stupid stupid <laughs> look that's my first comment with my new profile picture it was me chilling in my house i wish it was like bigger so people could like see it you know hi hi olympia medal <laughs> How are you? Welcome into the chat. It looked like a normal tree, but smaller, and it did not have a lot of leaves. No way! Is it like a particular breed of tree, Schrodinger? Or is it old? Like, when it gets old, does it shrivel? I, I, didn't, I didn't think about it. Do, do trees shrivel when they get old? They look different. Bro, you sound just like that meme, you know, the one that goes, You stupid. What's 9 plus 10? 21. <laughs> Can't be aged yet because you're still in your 20s. Yeah, I guess so. I guess so. What are we gonna do when I hit 30, guys? What are we gonna do? Olympic medal. Can you guess my country? Mm, Russia. And I say that because Russians are very successful at like Olympics, right? We have our first Turkish person in chat. Yarın arkadaşlarımla buluşacağım. This is the first Turkish person in chat other than my mom. My mom is also Turkish. <laughs> True. Wait, 
how did you find me? I must know. I want to know. T R T R T. Stop, Schrodinger. Okay, how did you find me? Who are you? I need to know. Oh my god, another Turkish person. Merhaba. Welcome into the chat. I, I don't know why I'm so excited. This is so cool. I'm Turkish too. A bonjour. Oui. Oui. Gracias. Hello. Jack, look, I know you want the attention, but you're gonna get it from your girl tomorrow, okay? Just hold it in there. <laughs> you're gonna get it from your girl tomorrow. Nice one, Jack. I can't even tell if Brad is serious or joking. You forget. <laughs> See you on chat. Ciao. <laughs> oh, you guys. Yeah, Olympia. Uh, Olympiad Medallia, sir. Oh, it's Turkish. Oh my god, how did I not read their name in Turkish? I was bored, I typed let's chat on YouTube, I clicked on the live broadcast and you appeared in front of me. Well welcome, you have to come more. We're streaming again tomorrow and we're all gonna keep chatting. Wait, the, so are you fluent in English? Are you Turkish English? Are you just Turkish and you know English? Are you even fluent in Turkish? Türkçen ne kadar güçlü? Türkçeyi çok biliyor musun? Yoksa İngilizceyi daha çok mu biliyorsun? Hangisi? I, I speak with an accent <laughs> because I haven't visited Turkey in a long time. W language skills. <laughs> Olympia. <laughs> That's exactly how I found Susu. Really? You guys are just bored and you just type let's chat. Oh my god, should we all do that together and we find someone and we just like watch their stream together? Should they, wait, will I get copyrighted from them? I don't think so, because we can comment while we watch their stream. <laughs> we could all be in chat together, that would be so funny. How do you know Turkish? Oh, I, I am Turkish. That's how. Well, to be fair, um, <clears throat> Why did you done trick me so? Yeah, that's so cool. I wouldn't just randomly know Turkish, right? It's not really um, that popular as a language. Chance of luck, yeah. <laughs> look at the luck. They're saying, "Wow, are you really Turkish? How? Like, look at the luck, yeah." Yes, a stream raid. We could, wait, can we raid someone on YouTube? I don't think we can raid someone on YouTube, but we can definitely do it on Twitch. We can definitely raid someone on Twitch and just hang out in their chat. And we can literally raid like anyone. It doesn't have to be someone we know. I've literally raided like um, streamers I really like that are super famous. Um, but like mid-level famous? I don't think so. We should do it on Twitch. Yeah. Yeah, that's fair. We should do it on Twitch. <laughs> so, Olympiad Medallius. <laughs> Are you Turkish as well? You must be, right? <laughs> this is crazy. This person just typed, um... Let's chat on YouTube and then found another Turkish person. Look at the luck. <laughs> oh, it was so nice to meet you. It was very exciting. Guys, oh my god, it's it's 9.42. Okay guys, I actually have to go. Because I gotta sleep. But yeah. <laughs> this is 
Lucy, you look so emotional. I would be... I would be too if tomorrow someone Italian showed up in chat. You you know what I mean. You know how it is, Schrodinger. It's it's so cool. It's so cool. It's such a cool feeling. Um, the saying they never expected something like this. Their mind is blown. Um, can I explain it in a bit more detail? Uh, I don't know how strong your English is, so I will explain it in Turkish, and then I'll. Sleep is for the strong. There we go, Brad. <laughs> and then I'll convert it. Yeah, so... Açık just is streaming your Purim. Um, ve Aynam Türk. So, Aynam Türk, babam Türk Bulgaristan. Um, so, I do just streaming and my mom is Turkish and my dad is Bulgarian Turk. I'm converting for you guys as well at the same time. I sleep, but I'm skinny. <laughs> Ooh, Pyro, I like the fire next to your your name now. That's pretty cool. Um, yeah, so... Nasıl beni buldun bilmiyorum. Ama şansa bak, ikimiz de Türküz, so yeah. Açıkçası 3 sene falan Türkiye'de kaldım. Kabataş Erkek Lisesi'ne gittim. Um, sonra geri geldim. Tüm hayatım boyunca İngiltere'deydim aslında. Um, ama yeah, um, Kabataş'a gittiğimde Türkçe'yi çok iyi öğrendim. Ama uh, aksanım gitti maalesef. Aksanımı yedirmiştim son yılıma doğru ama şu an <gülüyor> aksanım geri geldi. O yüzden uh, anlıyor musun bile emin değilim. <gülüyor> Türkçem not great. So, basically guys, I just said that uh, I went to Turkey for three years. <laughs> I, uh, I studied at Kaptaş Erkek Lisesi, which is a high school there. It's like the top third in the country. It's pretty cool. It's a pretty cool place. I met some pretty cool people there, actually. And I'm saying how my accent had gone away, my British accent, but it's back now. <laughs> it's so strong right now. I called my uncle the other day. And my uncle was like, I don't understand you. <laughs> so I had to speak really slow for him. Okay, night night. Thank you so much, Reese. Thank you for the night night. Sleep is for the strong. Sleep is for the strong. I sleep, but I'm skinny. <laughs> you have, obviously have to do more than sleep. What do I have to do? I actually have nothing to do. Oh, wait, I do need to make a thumbnail. I do need to make a thumbnail, that's true. Yeah, they say they understand English, but writing in English is hard. It just takes time, so that's why they write in Turkish. That's fine, I can translate. I'm pretty fluent in both languages, so I can translate whatever you write. No, your accent is beautiful. Ah, oh, thank you so much. I appreciate that. Çok teşekkür ederim. If someone Welsh joined Tad, I would probably blabber to them about the love for sheep <laughs> oh jack that is brilliant sheep god sheep god we need to draw sheep god okay i'm gonna write this down so i draw sheep god hmm. sheep god we must draw sheep god into the surprise art yeah and pyro you made Draw sheep god. 100% Kenalicious. Draw the sheep god. Jack, you should draw the sheep god actually as well. I promise I'm understanding Turkish. Kinda. Maybe not. Well, I'm transferring it for you guys. Kenas, hi! Kenas is in the chat. Yeah, so yarn the streaming your pajam. Get it to sound again. Masına göre saat kaç bilmiyorum çünkü iki saat ileride sınırlı değil mi Türkiye'de olduğun için? I'm just saying to the new chatter that they should come tomorrow as well. They say that they understand, but they're not very good at typing English. So maybe they do understand, but. <laughs> they said they can't believe that I only stayed there for three years and I can speak um, this clear and normal. It 
it's really crazy. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. But um, my family speaks Turkish a lot. In fact, um, I work at the cafe, my mum's cafe, and she speaks Turkish to me all the time. Um, this morning, I had a Turkish breakfast at my mum's cafe. If I, if I just load up the photo, let me show you. That you're gonna love this. Mükemmel Türk kahvaltısı. It's brilliant. Bayun konuşlarım usta. Translated sheep god. <laughs> Why did you translate sheep god is among us? <laughs> the fuck is going on? I don't know. But yeah, this is my amazing Turkish breakfast I had in, in the UK. It's brilliant. It's amazing. But yeah, I speak Turkish a lot. My family especially. So yeah. That's it, pretty much. Shit, the other guy made his move in the chess game. Another stream. After the stream, I'll take a look at it. Schrodinger. Okay, Schrodinger, you need to win this game. Okay? In fact, maybe you should stream it to chat so we can ask a professional chess player <laughs> how to win this game, okay? What's the sheep god? Um, I think it's a Welsh thing, right? Is it a Wales thing? I don't know, maybe it's just a Jack thing, but sheep god is a thing. It's just literally like, Jack said one time that sheep god would curse me if I do not um, pray, so. <laughs> so yeah, please. <laughs> <laughs> no, you didn't, Jack. You're not Turkish. You are not Turkish, Jack. Stop pretending. <laughs> I have a funny story, actually. So, Silva hears me speak Turkish once in a while, right? In the house, to my mom on the phone and stuff. And he asked me to teach him something in Turkish and he wanted to learn the phrase lick the sand so <laughs> so he, he he kept saying kumuyala to my mom <laughs> when she came over and i said to him it's such a silly phrase no Turkish person will understand you. And he kept saying Kumuyala like for no reason. He would just randomly say it. And he says it with an accent as well. And like no one understands him. It's just not something you say. You never say like lick the sand in Turkish. But like it's just a crazy concept. And he was like, well, what if I what if I say that like will people understand? I was like, no, no one's gonna understand anything from Kumuyala. <laughs> I'll draw the sheep god. Draw the sheep god, Pyro. Do it among us. Y'all gotta try a Portuguese breakfast. Is it good? I'm gonna look it up. Portuguese. Portuguese. Breakfast. Mmm, I love food. Okay, so which one is it, Brad? Is it like this one? Typical Portuguese breakfast? This just looks like bread and ham. Or is it like this? Mmm, oh, olive bread. Mmm, oh, what is that? Bro, what is that? That looks like God tier. Portuguese sausage. Oh, that is delicious. Brad, is this what you're talking about? I hate sand. <laughs> yeah, I think you've expressed this before, Brad. You should try Italian breakfast too? Okay, okay, okay. Let's go, let's go. Let's go. All the breakfasts. It 
Italian breakfast. You know what I'm thinking? Hold on. I'm thinking like I want the music to be playing and I really like coffee. Um, What was the game we tried to play called again? Coffee Talk, right? Coffee Talk OST. I just want the music playing in the background. There we go. So we have the music playing and we can just be looking at our own stuff. Oh, guys, these fruits look amazing. Schrodinger, which one's the real one? There's so many Italian breakfasts. What? This is crazy. Mm. Guys, look at all the pastries. Look at all the beautiful pastries. Sussy. You know I'm sussy. Biraz mini mini bins your Portuguese carvalts. Yes, it definitely does. So in Turkey, we have this thing called miniman and the Portuguese breakfast kind of look like that. Let me show you guys Melaman as well. This looks amazing, Schrodinger, by the way. I would love to come to Italy and have that. So this is Melaman, guys, and it kind of does look like Portuguese breakfast, but it's a little bit different. We don't have meat in this, so I think the Portuguese breakfast had meat in it, basically. Bona Tupche edit larde. Editor? I I don't know what you mean, Jack. You want me to call you an editor in Turkish? I don't I don't get it. I'm not sure. <laughs> I don't know what you mean. I don't know what you translated there. Bona Tupche edit larde. Oh, I see. You're telling me to tell you memes in Turkish? Um... Türkçe memeler biliyor musun ya? Hiçbirisi aklıma gelmiyor benim. Türkçe memes. Um... Mesela Türkçe espriler falan. Emin değil biliyor musun? Um, I'm asking my Turkish friend because I do not know Bu arada Türkçe yorum atmam senin için sorun oluyor mu? No, not at all. You can totally write in Turkish. That's totally fine. I don't mind you typing in Turkish. That's fine. I translate to everyone else anyway. I already study four languages. This Turkish is confusing me. Honestly, Schrodinger, I think that's a problem. Like, when you when you learn so many languages, I think it becomes a problem and you <laughs> there's like too many languages to know. I drew the sheep god, where is it? Pyro. Pyro, we want to see the sheep god now. Upload to YouTube, please. Please, I want to see the sheep god. Or somewhere. Or send me on Discord or something. Please, I want to see it. Guys, it's actually 10. I streamed for an hour over when I said I would stream. Let's stop the game. Save it. Let's get to me. Sorry guys, that might be double double songs. Okay. I'll be careful because I alt F4, but what if I alt F4 my stream? That would be so bad. Like the other day, I had a Spanish class and I answered a question in French. Oh no! We more super cool. Don't do that, <laughs> you know? Let me see if I can find it. Pyro, are you sharing? Can we see your sheep god? Have you sent it to me on Discord? <clears throat> Pyro sent it to me on Discord, guys. <laughs> this is Pyro's sheep god. Oh, I love it. We need like all the versions of sheep god. 
Jack needs to draw, Schrodinger needs to draw, Schrodinger, I know you don't like drawing, but you gotta do it. Brad needs to draw it. Kenny Delicious needs to draw a sheep god. Um, Olympiat Madalis, sheep god, sheep god. Koyun Krona. Koyun Allahuma. Koyun. What was it? What did you say? Koyun Tanrısı. Çizmen lazım. I want Discord, but I'm not old enough. That's okay, Kenalicious. You're not missing out. Discord is not great without friends. So. I'm gonna go have a shower if stream end when I back when I get back then good night and wish me good luck Jack good luck good luck from me good luck from the sheep god good luck from everyone in chat Mwah. I hope you do really well and you got this okay Jack you got this enjoy your shower and have a great time tomorrow and let us know on the stream tomorrow how it went in this cross it goes really really well for you I'm wishing okay Sheep God has hench arms and an eight pack and outstanding blonde locks. Then I'll draw Sheep God. Proceeds to open paint. Do it, Schrodinger! Oh my god. I downloaded Twitch. Get the missions! I mean, Discord. <laughs> I mean, you can download both by faking the year you were born, pretty much. I don't think anyone is going to counsel you for it, Ken. I mean, yes, of course you can. You can ask me anything you want. <laughs> but I'm not old enough. Age is just a number. But I'm not telling you to do it. You do you. I don't join any of the groups. I literally just talk to my friends. Like, I just add my own friends, you know? So like, if you just talk to your own friends and just make your own groups, it's kind of safe. It's not really that dangerous. Just don't talk to people you don't know. That's stranger danger, you know? It's like 101 stranger danger. Think about it like that, Jack. Anything is dangerous. You know, like Instagram is dangerous, Facebook is dangerous, having a phone is dangerous because you can't escape predators. They're everywhere, my brother. They're everywhere. I can't believe I read that name and I didn't realize it was Turkish. Like, I literally just, I can read in Turkish as well, and I just read it and didn't realize it was in Turkish. This is so weird. But yeah. in my neighborhood like two houses away from my how do you know that do you know that from like predator watch or something pyro that's kind of scary it's kind of scary i'm not gonna lie Medallia sir has had the worst day so they said the day wasn't really well 
today, because, um, until this weird coincidence that we're both Turkish, um, so they didn't realize throughout the day, but they had a bug stuck to the bottom of their shoe, and throughout the whole day, they squashed the bug a little bit each time, and that made them really sad. Oh god, I'm so sorry. Um, böceğin için çok üzgünüm. <laughs> Yapacak bir şey yok. Kaderiymiş yani. <gülüyor> so artık üzülmene gerek yok. Um, I killed a spider and I felt really bad about it. But there's not much we can do, you know. They're, they're little tiny bugs and like sometimes you accidentally break their legs as well and it's really sad. But um, there's, there's nothing you can do really. They're asking if I have any advice for them to feel better and have I ever squashed a bug with my shoe. Hi, Tanjinch. I am a böcek öldürmedim ama bilerek böcekleri öldürdüm ama aslında böcek öldürmeyi sevmiyorum çok açıkçası. İçimi kötü hissettiriyor senin gibi. Örümcekleri bile çok korkuyorum ama arkadaşlarımı çıkartıyorum evin içinde. Um, hayvanları öldürmeyi sevmiyorum. Ama um, istemeden olan bir şey için um, üzgün hissetmene gerek yok. Uh, bu hayat yani ve onun kaderiymiş. Yapacak bir şey yok artık. Olmuş. <gülüyor> I'm just saying that basically it was the bug's fate. There's nothing we can do now. The, the bug is squashed and it wasn't deliberate. So don't feel so bad. It's okay. It's okay. I have killed spiders before, really big ones, and I don't like doing it. It makes me sad. Olympiad, bro, how are you typing that fast? He's an Olympiad! He's an Olympiad! I can't believe I guessed that he was Russian. <laughs> I heard he tried kidnapping a 12 year old. Oh my god, that is so bad, Pyro. And the cops showed up. Still alive. Yeah, I'm about to end coffee code. I'm about to end. I say. I just met so the truth is <laughs> coffee code. I just met a Turkish person in chat. <laughs> yeah, I'm really happy. I took just a single tonish them a chop menunum. So Günün kötü gez, geçtiği için özür dilerim. <gülüyor> umarım gününü biraz daha mutlu yapmışımdır. Ve umarım günün biraz daha iyiydi günü gördüğün için. Ve çok memnun oldum sizinle tanıştığınıza. Cidden mükemmel bir coincidence. You know? No, don't end. I have to go. <gülüyor> I have to go. Ooh, baklava, stop. Coffee cone. <gülüyor> oh. Baklava. <laughs> baklava. Oh, baklava. I see. That's what you were saying. Um, I haven't killed them, killed animals either. I take them outside normally, but today was really unlucky. Imagine with every step, I hurt the bug a little bit slowly. It's so bad. Hmm. But but is that what happens or do you just crush them straight away? Like do they just die? I don't even know. I command you. Tanıştığım için ben de çok mutlu oldum. So cute. Yeah. I was in Istanbul last week. No you weren't coffee code. I don't believe you. Name one thing you did in Istanbul last week. Mm-hmm. And doing my mom does not count, okay? Don't don't try and come back at me with smart comebacks. Turkish people are very nice overall. Thank you, I appreciate that. You better cook that right, Pyro. What is Pyro cooking? I'm making instant mac and cheese. Pyro, your favorite dish. Do it. <laughs> you better cook that right, Pyro. Oh, Schrodinger. <laughs> I love you so much. 
They seem to get along with us Greeks a lot. Of course, why not? I was really... I took a transfer flight from the airport to Georgia. No way! No way! <laughs> Coffee code. <laughs> then I got married to a beautiful Ukrainian. Well, congratulations, Coffee code. It's a shame that your family wasn't there, but congratulations anyway. Maybe we can celebrate all together on the stream or something. Ate lots of kinkale and kachapuri. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna look these up. What are these? Kinkale. Manta, huh? <laughs> Literally like Manta though. They have like meat inside. Okay, I've decided they're just like a massive Chinese Manta. Oh, Manta. Oh my god, Manta. My mum makes the best Manta ever. Oh my god. I, I've i wanted it for weeks now. I need to tell my mum off because she hasn't made me Manta. This is so sad. Um, Kachapuri. Okay, what is Kachapuri? Kachapuri. I deleted Discord. Good, Kenalicious. Kachapuri. Why did you delete Discord? Because of Jack? Catch a <laughs> This is so funny. We have these things in Turkish cuisine. This is really a funny coincidence. Where'd you go again? Georgia? Was it conquered by Turkey at some point? <laughs> Size de iyi akşamlar. Ben de tanıştığım için çok memnun oldum. Um, okay, bu arada hangi günler yayın yapıyorsun? Um, genelde cumartesi günleri sadece YouTube'da yayın yapıyorum. Ama um, Twitch'i biliyorsan biliyor musun bilmiyorum ama Twitch'te uh, cuma günleri de yayın yapıyorum. Ama yarın özel yayın yapacağım. Um, Çünkü <gülüyor> herkes istedi. <gülüyor> so o yüzden yarın özel bir yayın yapacağım. Um, yeah, gelebilirsen çok memnun olurum. Ve çok memnun oldum tanıştığıma. Ve umarım gününü biraz daha iyi yapmışımdır. Çok üzülme. Böceklerin küçük ömürleri var zaten. Ve um, daha iyi bir yerde olduğunu düşün. <gülüyor> umarım sana rahatlık verir. <laughs> Turkey sounds a little Mandarin. <laughs> Maybe it is. I'm just saying bye to um, our new Turkish friend and they said they will come into chat. How do I know what my phone number is? Kenneth. Have your friend call you. Have Pyro tell you what your number is. How do you not know your own number, Kenneth? We, we also had shawarma. Yes. Shawarma is not Turkish. But a lot of people think shawarma is Turkish. I've got to say, Georgians, he doesn't have a number. Oh, you don't have a phone? You do not know coffee. <laughs> what do you mean? Did you not like that coffee? I use his Gmail. Oh. Well then. I think Yahoo, I think. So guys, get off Yahoo! Who uses Yahoo anymore? Go on Gmail or Outlook or something. Who uses Yahoo, please? <laughs> this is to exactly one hour and 24 minutes since you said you have to stop the stream. Shodinka, thank you so much for keeping a timer on me. I am actually going to stop the stream now. 
Thank you. Thank you for reminding me. Guys, I gotta go. I gotta go. I love you all, but I really gotta go. Georgian coffee is like a vegan cooking a steak. <laughs> oh, coffee code. You roasted them so hard. <laughs> what the frick? No, Pyro, I have to go. I need, I need to sleep. I need to do some other things like eat snacks watch show you know go i'm go got to chill also i gotta work tomorrow so bye all oh, bye sissy bye shredding up i'm streaming tomorrow on youtube right yes i will be here on youtube tomorrow probably around the same time i normally stream because i have to go to work so probably six seven like around that time don't leave i'm sorry pyro i'm so wee i gotta go bye oh i love you all bye chad copy code i command you to leave and stay well i um, i i pick leaving and uh i ignore the stay i didn't see that i didn't see that at the same time one last announcement yeah let's do it leave and stay how can you look left while looking right it's like this <laughs> You use a mirror? That is so smart. That is actually so smart. E! E! Bye guys! Love you so much! See you tomorrow! Bye!